junlee.com and press search. Hello? Man, John, are you there? I can't hear you. What happened to Man, John? Are you there? Calling on now, John. <laughs> See your screen, but we lost your voice. How could that be going on? No jet? Can anybody hear me? Looks like he's off frozen screen. Okay. All right, let's just wait a minute. Let's wait for him to come back. Catherine Robinson, who is that? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's an intruder. I don't know if she, oh, know if she's on her. Uh, okay, welcome, Catherine. <laughs> That's funny. That's right. You did ask about. <laughs> pretty, pretty clearly, welcome. I thought, but uh, perhaps that was. Now you're, gonna, now you're gonna hear your dad in action, and well, I, I, I guess you probably know better than anybody how much trouble we're all in. Are you back now, Jack? Now, Jack. Oh my goodness. We'll give him a minute. Uh, his screen is changing. That's a good sign. See if we get his voice back. I'm going to mute. Uh -huh. Hello, have you uh, watching my screen okay. live on your computer? Yeah, we've just been waiting for your voice to come back. So I'm going okay, to actually I have lost yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. I have lost my internet connectivity. You're back. So, I'm better than ever. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay, Let fine. me just mute everybody again one second. All right, you're on the main name for junjinli.com and here's the data. So right now as we are And there's 36 percent traffic comes from U.S. 33 percent from Mexico and 3 percent from Morocco. Let's check. What about China? Traffic sources. Not targeting China. The Junjunli is running. Junjunli is running traffic campaign via site scout on Britannia.com, and that's a huge, huge clue for us to know that which traffic source is working for that guy. That's huge. So are you saying those are the only three publishers that he's using for that ad? No, no, no. Uh, yes, for um, banner ads. Only. Yeah, just, not just for, for Facebook. Tania. I know, but that's that's crazy because that one, that Vasco, that's a Brazilian, that's a Brazilian suffix on that name. And it's I mean, those are like those are names that none of us ever heard of before, and yet it's still only three traffic sources that he's using for that ad. That's pretty amazing. I guess it's based on testing. Actually, uh, he's running all ads via via Site Scout. So I have uh, explored Site Scout and found that uh, you can select your targeting by Nietzsche website or your, uh, you, uh, by selecting those sites which are relevant to your 
um, target or which is, is relevant to your market swimming via site scout and site scout offer very good uh, um, very good uh, CPM very low CPM sorry it offer very low CPM and he got a lead at very cheaper price so, so, so. he's so first we have a subscription run to run ad we just to interject for a second we have a subscription to site scout and site scout has a lot of very very good training I know Charlie said the other day that he was learning site scout he's not on right now but um, but <clears throat> We can definitely tap into the Site Scout training, and you know, because they're a self-service advertising online advertising agency, it's in their best interest if we have success. So they have some really good training that's free. And beyond that, there's people like like um, Charles Kirkland, who is Regina's mentor, and he can he can take us to the next level. But I think that before we even are ready for him, we need to self-educate a little bit more uh, and this is this is great just seeing what we're seeing here is powerful then add on to that the training that site scout gives us about optimizing our campaigns and we're going to be I mean we're going to be positioned in such an amazingly unmatchable level that nobody's going to come close it's crazy okay all right back to you okay, <clears throat> okay. can we uh, just I want to ask one thing that can we scan some other site like my top type business dot com or that? Yeah, why not? Go okay. for it. Okay, fine. So here, here I run a search for my top type business dot com, and here you see all the detail. Just check this detail. You are amazed wow. with it. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, site that's scout media. Wow. Bing ads, Grego Edusoner, Bicel ad, and these are top five media which are bringing traffic for my top type business.com. So I believe that we also have to replicate the same thing for us so that we can bring some great result. But we have to do testing in by investing a small amount first, and when we um, Finalize that and found that that uh, the media which we are putting money is profitable. Then we will invest a huge amount on, on that network. So right now, mm, let's check the uh, ads. And here is the description. And this ad is running on Bing. Since third um, of November two thousand thirteen, I thought that it is it is not the running time. It's it is displaying that last scene. Okay. So, so, so. Is anybody else's Some mouth part. hanging open? <laughs> this is crazy. Catherine Robinson, you don't even have any idea what you're seeing here. It's crazy. And this is the ad which is running on some other network whose name is Kuko Adosener. So let's check some other banner ads. So here is the main thing. You don't need to have create any banner ad or do some graphic type of work you just copy paste it in your campaign and get some amazing result and this check this out Carolina on this banner ad and check this ad also so I believe that this is a huge 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 bonus for all of us Was what it do you think I need to hear your the monthly fee was it worth it yet? <laughs> it's so crazy. So oh my God. This is like hiring a detective. 
I mean, you, you would pay you would pay somebody thousands of dollars to go and do this work for you. Okay, so I appreciate if um, all our team members share his feedback and their thoughts on that we all know that how he or she thinks about that. So, Rob, can you please uh, ask each team member that what is uh, getting through this? Well, Cindy Martini says gigantic and um, Catherine Robinson uh. learning and uh, yeah. No, this is something that most internet marketers okay. don't have any idea about. So it's just this is like the most powerful marketing data that you could possibly hope for. So copy the banners right away. So the question is, okay, are these just, banners, mm -hmm. are these banners, um, are any of them uh, like private, copyrighted, or can we just use them if they are out there? I don't believe that. As we are now uh, official partner of. Uh, <clears throat> Move so that I don't think that we have any copyright issue. I don't think so. These don't you belong to individual members. Any these, one of these, these are all Move. These are not individuals. Actually, we are. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, this is for the whole uh, Move program, not for an individual person. And I think a lot so, of these we haven't seen I yet think because they're just testing been, these. A lot of these banners we haven't seen yet because they've been testing them out. They haven't even put them in the back office. But look at this. These are out there. And we can start using them because we found them. That's crazy. I love it. I like okay, that pink one. Now let's um, check some demographic data. Uh, here you see that most of the traffic coming from United States, Australia and India, Canada. UK, Norway, Mexico, Singapore, Russia. Peter is asking that what are the stats at the bottom? On this Peter on this page or some other page? Okay, just wait. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. So you are asking for, I believe, this data. It represent ads strength, and the uh, last, I believe, that last seen date, like that. Actually, I right now I have uh, have to study it to. Uh, Explore some new features, so I need some time. Yes, it's represent points represent add uh, strength, so that more the points, the more uh, the more time it it is running for a longer period. So if some add, so let's take it that this add has to 31 point, so it's represent add strength. So the Website owner is running this ad for a quite longer time. So it's not necessarily length of time. I hope you have number, it, it looks to me like it's not length of time. It's it's more like impressions. It's it's the, the maybe some relationship to the number of impressions okay. it's had. But okay, we'll find fine. out those okay, details. Fine. Definitely higher is better. <laughs> That's one thing we know for sure. Yes. Yes. Now let's move office.com. Okay, let's check this out. Ninety-five percent traffic coming from buy sell ads. And this is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. And that's why we have to start buying media banner on buy sell ads. 
But that's Mobe Office. That's weird. Mobe Office. I don't understand. Who would be going to that domain unless they were already in? No, no, no. Actually, when we promote any offer or we promote any lic Mobe licensee a link, it redirect. I believe that it redirect to um, buy sell at. Uh, it redirect to moveoffice dot com. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not I sure. Am. I mean, mobile office is where the banners are, so I don't know what relationship that would be to buy sell ads. I and mean, maybe they're just hosting but, them over there. But main thing is that. When somebody is purchasing such share of amount of huge amount of traffic from buy sell ads, then definitely there is some profitable profit in it. So we have to replicate that thing by investing a small amount, and after testing, we have to raise raise it further. What do you think, Rob? I agree absolutely. The data doesn't lie. The data says we need to. Look at buy sell ads. I just don't understand Mobe Office. I, 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 we need to understand what that domain, what's really happening with that domain. Okay. So because uh, you know, because if it was any other, if it was not. Tell me some any, other site. Uh, follow, follow Terry. Okay. Just check it out. Just check. Wait, wait, wait. Just check it out. These are the best. So now you have got an idea. That what they are selling on this to me. Just check these banners. Fantastic. I think that, wow. that they are they are using some uh, back end link, secret link on their back end office. <laughs> they are they are selling their uh, uh, packages individually. You mean you mean these awesome. banners are hidden? You're saying that these banners are hidden. They may be these might be the banners that they're using for for Matt's own uh, for his own. Uh, I thought that. I, yes, I believe that. I think you're right. That something is going behind the wall. Yeah, because we've never and seen these. Well, I mean, we know that something is going on. They told us at the last event this weekend that they're. They're working on okay. new stuff, and they have to test it. So now, now we're kind of able to see what they're testing. I think, I think that's what you're saying, right? Okay, now let's let's move to some next page. Okay, and this is the secret URL: happy slash internet slash marketing. <laughs> have you heard about uh, it? No, never. Oh, you know what? So you know what I want to know is uh, yourtoptierbusiness.com. Try that one also. Yourtoptierbusiness. Y O U R. Okay, fine. And let's check this domain also. I show how dot com. Start smart invest dot com. So see, now we have uncovered Cindy, too much domain. Prof proven profits. Can you just take notes on the domain name, Cindy, please? Hello. Okay. Yeah, we're here. Do you want to unmute him? Hello. Rob, are you there? I am here. Okay. I'm just not so omnipresent, if you know what I mean. Shut up, okay. Good. We're just joking around. 
So she says happy internet marketing dot com doesn't exist. Can you try it? Let me try it. No, I don't try it. Let me try it again. Did you try happy? I mean did you try www in front of it? I S O is how how dot com. Yes, no. I think that these domains are <coughs> some older domains or yeah, so that's interesting. So we need to know what's current. We need to make sure that we've got current information. We don't because some of those pictures in Mount Lloyd look pretty old as well. So we have to make sure we yes, evaluate yes. that closely enough. Okay, some scan some uh, other website in the meantime. Yeah. Okay, let's well, watch. Try your take a look at his traffic sources. Oh, interesting. Your top tier business dot com. Your yes. Top, top tier. tier business dot com. Fine. I never heard this about this website before. Okay. It's probably so it's spring just a forwarding result. It's just a forwarding address then. So Let me see what it forwards to. Okay. I think it just forwards to let's the try other. some let's try and try some other domain. Yeah, try uh followtary dot com. I found out this weekend that Terry Lamb is under John Chow. I did not realize that. So if you saw my pictures of the group sitting in the lobby, they were all John Chow disciples. He's, he's, me. he's quite smart okay. guy and I don't think that he will reveal his landing page. <laughs> Try John MTTP link. John Chow. Interesting. Media by Banner app. Driving with John Chow. Cindy had just given me to my name. Dri driving with John Chow.com, but it's the rain, no result in here. I thought that only <coughs> old only website those contain some data.
Are you back? Hello. Me and you, Cindy. Cindy, take over. Tag your it. Hello. No Cindy either. About I'm here. I had I I muted myself. I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna have to shut the door. My dog is barking. Hold on. So, Eileen Chen, I see you're here now. You weren't here. I'm not sure when you got here. How long ago did you get here? Now, Josh, you're back. <laughs> now, Josh. Yes, sir. All right, you're back. Go for it. I've got uh, Right now, I am scanning the home business summit.com. Are you watching my screen? Hello? I'm sorry, I realized that I was muted. Yes, we're watching your screen, but your screen appears to be statically unchanging. Maybe I need to okay. make you the presenter again. Hold on. All right, now you're the presenter again. Okay, that's fine, thank you. So I just scan another website, it's thehomebusinesssummit.com and here you again see buy sell ad is again bringing more traffic. Wow. So now you have get an idea that where we can get quality leads. These two are the most powerful site apart from Facebook which can bring some valuable leads for us and bring some great result. What do you think, Tom? So when we talk about when we talk about media buying, this is basically what we're talking about. We knew we were talking about site scout. Now we've got buy sell ads to add to the mix. We knew that we had Facebook. We know that we have solo ads. So that's really the, the four big categories and on the solo ads. We've got the David versus the Goliath. On Facebook, we've got the two cent clicks versus the dollar clicks, and then of course we've got uh, we've got all the free stuff, which is a whole another interesting dynamic. And we've got promoting events, which is you know will keep us on our toes, keep it challenging. But I think that this is just so incredibly powerful. And so I, I was asking Eileen when she arrived because I want to know how much she missed. But now just seeing this, you can get an idea of what we've been talking about. And if you know some other sites that we can look at, we just pay for these tools, and we can go, we can basically go like detectives onto any website, um, or we can go and look at any, uh, Navjot left, at least one, one of Navjot's presence is left, but we can go to any website, and oh. we can see all the ads that have been running on that website for the last several months, and we can see how uh, we can't see exactly how many times, but they have some kind of a rating that lets you know basically which ads are seen the most and on on down. But every single ad has been showing up on June June Lee's website. So you know we looked at uh, we looked at the Moog uh, websites, my online. Um, we looked at which one Moog Office, and we looked at um, my top tier business. And now we're looking at the Home Business Summit. And so any other domains that you can think of, we just paid for this tool that we can use. It's a monthly subscription, but just on what we've seen tonight, it's so, or for the kind of budget that we have, this is just amazing and so powerful and so valuable. So back to you, Navjot. OK, so thank you. So. As you are seeing, these banners are running for the Home Business Summit, which Matt has Matt was run 
for that seminar which goes on which goes live between number 1st and number 3rd in San Diego so these banner are, I believe that these banner are quite powerful and especially this one because it um, includes a clickable action which uh, um, a user which uh, well, what's interesting is that that click one on it. So used, sorry to interrupt you, but what's interesting is that that one was used for the one in July, um, which, but it wasn't. He didn't use that format for this one in November. So I don't know if maybe um, they they found that they couldn't use that in style anymore, or they just didn't think of it. But it is interesting that that wasn't used okay. this time. Okay. So these three. Display banner is he's using for since October 20 October 2013. So, so I believe that these banners are highly convertible. So and bringing some great leads. So in near future we can use some such type of banner for our ad campaign also. And let's watch it. And let's watch its demographic data. And again, the majority of traffic comes from US, Australia, Canada, Sweden, Mexico, UK, and India. Okay. So Cindy's saying that let's see what shows for Ripplin and Jonathan Bird. So Rob, can you type the, uh, the official website of Jonathan Bird? JonathanBird.com. I don't, it don't bring any result. Let's try some other stuff. Let's. That's pretty, that's surprising. Let's that's really scan, really let's scan empowernetwork.com. Are we scanning for our keywords? Or just scanning for ads in general? Yes, we are actually, actually we want to know that Did we lose you again? Then we lost now just voice again. We didn't lose the screen though. So this is just wild. It's powerful stuff. So you know my question is um, whether this I, I didn't see the beginning. Maybe you can I can unmute somebody here that was watching the beginning. Let me unmute Cindy. Cindy, did he put in the keywords? Yes. Or are we just looking at ads for that keyword, or are we looking for just all Empower ads right now? He's looking at uh, all Empower ads. So yeah, that's why that's things. why it, sh it shocks me about Jonathan and some of the other ones. Uh, John Child, it has to be under different headings. Well, yeah, I guess the question is maybe it's just looking on certain pages, and they have their stuff on other subdomains, or I don't know. So they just don't tie their ads when they place ads. They don't link them directly to that page. They link them to other pages that are squeeze pages, and they've taken all advertising off of their page. Maybe I don't know. Um, that is yes. a good question. Yes, actually, uh, I believe that they are running ads uh, on a some a different URL, or it is quite possible that they are using some. Clocking um, software. Okay. So that, yeah. Okay. Yes, that's cool. interesting. 
Like, Boston very Bears. interesting. I mean, you know, right it's now, maybe like, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan actually, my, is Ripplin, mm-hmm. and he would not be advertising Ripplin on his own domain. So, um, if you look at his site, his site is not about advertising. But I would think that there are banners there. If, but I haven't checked it out lately. You can just go okay. to Jonathan's site and you see a bunch of banner ads and there's nothing coming up here, then he's using some other way of, of cloaking it. But that's not really so important. Well, what, what we need to be focusing on, just to clarify and what I was saying in the chat box, is that we want to go to sites where people are advertising, successfully advertising MOB. So who are the people that are making the most money? And let's find yeah. out what they're all yeah. doing. One by one. If you have if you have any uh, URLs, can kindly share that URL so that I can scan that. In the meantime, uh, the whole um, motive behind sharing um, for for scanning the Empower Network is to just reveal that what on on that which platform they are using for getting quality leads and. They are, how they are running their campaign profitable. So again, you yeah. will see that buy sell ads contain 64 percent of their campaign traffic. Amazing. So that is a again, it's again indicates that we should start with buy sell ads right now. And yeah, I didn't know anything from, about from that. that does anybody here know buy sell ads? Yes, yes, Luke, yes. Crystalline? Yes, I know. What do you know? Actually, you have to. You can purchase um, media on buy sell ads by um, CPM. You have to just you have to just pay a fixed price for the whole month, and you will get unlimited clicks. How much? And depending it's on depend- the website. Who's talking? Eileen. Can you explain? So what it is, it's a platform where a lot of people uh, are able to fic- um, post ads. It kind of works like Google AdWords, but it like you know in the old days. So. Let's say, for example, Rob Ford's website is on there, and if you want to advertise on his website, all you have to do is buy one of the ads. So it functions as well. Um, the bigger one, the head, the header ones are more expensive. Um, it's usually a 30-day, and then there are other options where it's it's usually impressions actually, but there are options where they tweet out to social media. Um, I find the tweets to not be very effective. But certain websites definitely work. Um, there's also there's actually a few few like buy sell ads. I can't off off the top of my head right now. I can't really think of it. But yes. Um, so what you do is so that's very very interesting. And uh, for those of us that have been involved with the campaign for for the Home Business Summit, and, you know, we went through Site Scout. What I'm hearing from Eileen is that this is Basically, it's a site scout, but it it targets, maybe it's even some of the same media, but essentially it works the same way, where it's got, they've got advertising available on a whole bunch of different sites that charge per, you know, thousand uh, impressions and or per click, and you can put a bid, you can basically budget an amount of money to go to be used, and you'll get clicks on those sites. So question is, have any of you done that successfully yet? On yes. Buy, sell, ads? My first um, license sell was from buy, sell ads. Um, what's good about it is the fact that you can, you know exactly what website it's going to be on. So you can go to the website and see what it's about and target it. Like, like say, for example, if it's a membership website, then you, in, in the ad, you put something like, uh, this website mem- members only, that kind of stuff, and um, by the way, that's exactly what Regina had told us that we need to be doing on Site Scout. So that is, you know, it's the same thing. Okay. She does before she places an ad on any particular 
<clears throat> media on site scout is that she goes to the site, she checks it out, and creates an ad that is totally, you know, consistent with that look and, and that particular uh, audience, and, and that's how you get the best conversion. So that's totally consistent, and, uh, and we've got great resources right here to do that kind of stuff. Right. So um, I think one of the best things is that it, you can buy, it's usually impressions, um, and well, when I mentioned that you know exactly what website is going to be on, um, the reason why I think that's very important is because lots of uh, lots of publishers they will list what their impression is, but that's probably not the case. If we use um, worthofwebs.com and Alexa, we can figure out exactly how many people go visit their website each and every single month, right? So um, yeah. And exactly. the impressions aren't all that expensive. Like it's actually a lot cheaper than what I bought with the San Diego, but you know because it was targeted to San Diego, so that's why it was more expensive. So let's say right now investing.com is uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, wait, what's eight figures? So sixteen million, sixteen million. 16 million estimated impressions is what they listed, and it's one. It's ten dollars per one, one k impression. So you can, you can, you you can. Um, I guess with our big budget, we don't really have to worry about not having the resource for it. But you know, you can buy. But the issue buy. is the, the issue is with all of this media buying. If you don't know what you're doing, yeah. you can waste it really, really fast. Yeah. So. Um, so, wait. Let me see. What's their limit? Uh, what's their uh, minimum? Buy now. Okay. So their minimum investing.com's minimum is a hundred thousand impressions. So that's going to cost a uh, one thousand dollars. And let's check on the rank. The worth of webs. Webs. Okay, investing.com. All right, so the update for, sorry, I'm on the on another computer right now, so I'm going to send it through Skype. They open Skype. Um, Skype, but I'll read it to you first. So they get 3.1 mil on an average of 3.1 million visitors a day. Alexa ranking is at 1,367. Um, Google rank page four. Uh, user experience. Actually, I'll I'll just send the entire thing over so you can have a look at it as well. All right. So this website is how much in the um, how much it's worth, and the it's up to like it integrates with Alexa, so it's always re um, updated. And even if it you don't have it updated, you can press the update button. Um, and oh. This is the place where I went to to check on how much it costs. Are you with me, people? 
I am, but I'm I just got here. Hello, Rob. Uh, kindly make uh, Eileen the presenter so that she can share her screen. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I am going to Aline Chan to make the presentation. Here you go. Alright. Let's do this again. I sell as dot com. Actually, I'll make this bigger. Alright, so what I did was I went through to business, which isn't necessarily the, the place you go to, but I was, it was, it's an example. Um, Investing.com, and underneath it has the impressions of what they listed as an estimate, as $10 per 1K. So I clicked Add to Cart, or by now, and then there's one item in cart, so their minimum is 10000 right? So it's going to cost $1,000. Now, what I do is that I go to this website called worththeweb.com to figure out if this website is worth, worth me or us paying $1,000. It's called investing.com. And all right, so we have three million, three point one million visitors a day, and ninety three million visitors per month. Their Alexa ranking is pretty high, thirteen sixty seven. And yes, so you can. This is like the place that I come to because I'm lazy, and so I just. Look at, I just click on all these links and figure out if the website is um, is good to advertise on or not. It's Alexa ranking. Um, actually, does everyone know what Alexa ranking means? Yes, I know. I don't, but you and for the sake of us that don't, go ahead and explain. All right. So Alexa is owned by Amazon, and it's it's a it's something that calculates. How, um, how many visitors, how, how, how much traffic your website gets. So Alexa ranking place number one is Google, number two is Facebook, and it goes down the line to all the, all the main website that people use. And I'll show, just show you. Like say for example the home business summit dot com is at 200,000, all right? And now, johnchow.com is at 6,700 something. So that's how you place google.com. It's number one. Okay? Does that make sense? Absolutely fascinating. Love it. All right. So um, the reason why I choose to do this extra step is that when when they list their impression it might not be right so you don't want to because you know lots of publishers lie and people they, they, they think that yeah people buy into that uh, I don't buy into any of that I don't like to be cheated on so um, that's what I do uh, so right now um, oh by the way before you buy any ads you have to you must visit the website itself to figure out how it's going to look like. So here we have the premium ATF leaderboard. I assume that's this FX Pro right here. So it's going to be seen actually top center. And so the top right would be this one, I think. 
300 times 250 pixels. Yeah, that's about right. And so, I mean, I, I, okay, I'm going to be very honest with you. I was editing my video, so I didn't know, um, I didn't know what exactly we were doing, but I heard that we were doing buysellads.com, so I just chimed in. Some there that was a quite uh, a a uh, oh what's the word I'm trying to get at a confession <laughs> yes because but, <laughs> because I I have a deadline and yeah <laughs> and I have to get it done as soon as possible but this is very important as well so well thank you <laughs> yeah so I mean I think. Oh, I, I remember that in one of Matt's training videos, he mentioned this website, but not a lot of people are able to advertise on this website, especially with leading, um, uh, what's it called, with, you know, with big websites because it's very expensive. Like, I wouldn't throw out $1,000 of my own money to do it, but now that we have a team together, that $1,000 becomes like 100 bucks for me. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> so um, most websites that's in the business and finance, they also don't well don't do well with make money online. So what we really have to put here, if we decide to go with the leaderboard, we will have to do something like invest in your future, that kind of thing, right? And make the landing page congruent with the ad. So everything is has to be investing. When you're following up, it's also got to be talking about investing. I don't have a lot of experience with investing, so uh, I probably have to borrow a lot of your ideas. Um, yeah. It can't be just investing in yourself, investing in your own business, investing well, in... Let's look at this website. People do stocks. People are, they oh, are, yeah. they are the people who roll money with money right if you're going to do something like invest in your, yourself then you got to make sure you search stuff like self development all right there's not there's no category oh uh, okay i see what you're saying yeah oh whoops we don't have any search so yes they are um they are also internet, internet marketing so, it's about roi yes bruce you're right <laughs> yes and so, um, oh, right, you guys are typing. I don't know. I'm looking for you, then. All right. So, all right. So, Bruce, you can, t you, can, you can help. You can definitely help me on that. So, what I just searched was Internet marketing. There are 49 results. There are 49 places that we can find about Internet marketing. I've... Wow, 35 years. Holy crap. Haven't even been alive for that long. <laughs> okay, so I've done this website, which you see, this is a, um, a smaller website. So they do, um, it's not done by impression. It's uh, 100 bucks for, for 30 days. And again, we have to go to their website. To and find out what out. kind of traffic that goes to it. How much yes. traffic do they get? Exactly. How much traffic exactly we get? Because they may have like like over here it says that members since May 2010, they may have put up um, their peak, but we don't know their minimum, right? So it tells you they they get around 58,000. <laughs> they get around 58,000 visitors a day. Their Alexa ranking is much lower. It's still not bad, but it's much lower. And so is this congruent with what they say on the 85,000 estimated impressions? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> right. So um, this, is, this is usually how, how I, um, I figure it out. And then definitely check out the website see who advertises on there because that's very important if the same people keep coming back and that means that it's converting for them and I have found I don't know where where my ads went but I have found Dag and Smith to like one of one of their um, oh, what's his 
what's his the maximum leverage yes yeah, that's his company so oh my top tier business is on here aha <laughs> aha uh -huh. uh -huh. oh my top tier business is on here okay um and the and lots of other as MLM, internet marketing. So you know this blog is is uh, is for affiliate business. Now, if it's a blog or if they post it as a blog, the one thing that I look at is your consistency. Okay, I wouldn't come here and advertise on this website because this post was done by 64 days ago. Okay, um, normally when as John Child told me if you do like if you have a blog and you, you don't do it consistently like say for example if you do one per day for seven days and then you don't do any post for a month Google is not going to do very uh, do very well with that okay so let's check their um, what's it called oh click the trend check traffic trend below so yes, sometimes during this dip, they've done something wrong or they haven't been up updating. So, you know, this is just just really I'm telling you what comes in my head when I look at things like this. But you know, if I wasn't with Brain Trust and had like a hundred dollar budget for ads, then I would probably go with something like this, right? Yeah, but that's good advice. Very good advice. And the question is: This www.worthofweb.com uh, is that a free site? Yes. So when you come to their homepage, it's oh, look at this. <laughs> they actually are getting you have advertised. To Eileen. What? You have to know Eileen to be able to get access. You know, it's one of those secret handshake kind of things. You know, I'm actually very surprised that people don't do their search on Google. I guess it's because, well, I guess when I grew up, writing all my papers, I, whether it's research papers or anything, it's, it's I rely on Google so much that anything that I don't know, I literally type in. Like right now, if I don't know the time, is what time is it in Toronto? Okay? And it will tell me. <laughs> that's how I, <laughs> that's, that's become, um, it's just something that I've been using to live. So, oh, getting back to on topic, worthofweb.com. So there's there's a bunch of ebooks. Like they have like the stack of things that you can read about, and then there's the calculator, which is what you use to calculate. So you just type in um, the website, right? Okay. But I, but let's actually go to facebook.com. Wow, they are worth a lot. One, two, three, four. I don't even know how to count <laughs> anymore beyond the millions. But you know, um, you, you can see. Like, oh, right. Oh, wow. Their Alexa ranking went up. They're number two now. Okay. <laughs> and so, um, Worth of Web is a very easy, uh, easy to use website, and you just have to type in the, the the website to figure out all these stats. I don't like to go to Google and and like go through the actual Alexa ranking website because I don't understand anything that's that's billion so 7.8 billion no 78 billion wow okay <laughs> right so um why I use this website okay there's you can you can go to Alexa straight away and I'll show you exactly why I use this website okay all the stuff, this bounce rate, average date, what I don't I'm not good with percentages and I'm not good with anything like that. They do have some really good demographics on the re, the locations and educations and all that and wow. Browsing location. So most people at school are browsing. Ah, that's a key. <laughs> so um Alexa is definitely useful, but it doesn't tell you um uh like it has graphs and stats, but it won't tell you Everything that you need to know here, um, you can you can uh, measure with user experience. You can measure how fast it is, and yeah. So keep that documented, or keep that on your favorites. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing! <laughs> I never knew that existed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
let's go back to buy sell add and see what kind of places we can work on. So visual art design. Oh. I agree. This is amazing. This is awesome. Thank you, Eileen. You are a great. You're a great teacher. Did you say that you have a bet with your brother that you? She's that not a teacher. Not she's a coach. I don't understand yeah. what's the issue about being a teacher. Well, it, it's uh, my parents and my grandparents on both sides. They've been teachers their whole lives, and my brother uh, okay. just said that. Yeah, we're never going to be teachers, okay? Yeah, <laughs> and that was okay. that was it. I mean, honestly, the the bet back then was like a hundred thousand. It it seemed like it seemed like ten billion to me at the time, but now it seems like it's reachable. So even if I do become a teacher, I can pay him. <laughs> yeah, but you're you're gonna be you're gonna be teaching in a much bigger classroom. Right. Okay. So okay, let's let's look a little. Um, let's think outside the box. Other than business and finance, okay, business and finance. Um, my wife quit her job. That may be a good one if we have an ad that says, get your wife to quit your job. Uh, no, get your wife to quit her job, too, or something like that. Um, you can go with education, where we do education marketing, starting from the ad to the opt-in page. And you just, we, we should probably, you know, we, we have to teach them why. Where can we find out the ad? I mean, that. that you know, starting with what Navja was just going through, we're already seeing the ads that are already working. And what you're talking about is coming up with new original stuff. So that's what, in my opinion, that's worth doing the split testing. Yeah. But we should be starting with the stuff that's proven and be split yeah. testing yeah. new ideas. Definitely. Right? I'm just would, I'm just saying that, like, outside of these categories, because buy, sell, as is a big website, but it doesn't contain all all the best ones. Um, so, I mean, if, like, say we have $2,000 next month uh, to do nothing, we can, we can start testing out these other ones. And so, like, what I would go through is education, but it seems like there's no um, business education here. Maybe college times, maybe, just maybe. And then I would go with family and parenting because people, well, my, at least my mom told me, um, m most parents put their kids before themselves, so we can target it that way. Um, food and drinks, maybe government. We can say stuff like, "What? Well, what was it? What was it?" Um, I don't know. The economy is crashing, and we had a we had a line with Cindy on Craigslist. Do you want to? Do you want the government to control your future? That kind of stuff. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I mean, so I'm going off the rails here, but just saying that it, there's lots of possibilities for us. Um, there's lots of possibilities, and I guess what what we've just shown, what Navjot has just shown, is that no, nobody else is doing that stuff yet with Mob. So it's a huge opportunity from that perspective, right? Yeah. No, none of the big players. We have not found any evidence that anybody's doing that type of advertising. But we do know that well, on Facebook, we do. Are doing we did find. We did find this. However, I'm not, I'm not this is not right the now. best website. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know we what? You know what? I would. I wanted you to check on Skype since it's starting to do its ads. I'd love to know what their Alexis is. On Skype. On Skype. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to calculate that because most people who use Skype are using apps. I I haven't figured it out. Um. Well, no, I haven't done any research at all on uh, mobile. Hmm. I was just curious because I noticed they're, 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 every time you get oh, on Skype okay. now, you get an ad on there. So I was just curious what their rating is. Would you classify Skype as as a, a mobile platform? Well, a lot of mobile phones are connected to it. Yeah, I mean, to, most of the times when you leave me messages, I'm connected on my on my phone. Um, so, like, the, and I'll show you. I'll show you. Skype.com. Not like people only go to Skype.com 
Oh, right here. Cindy, if you come to this website and you see you this it? message, it will say this report oh. is however days old. You just have to One update day. it. Yeah, you got to click the update, updated baby yeah, button, what and it'll be fresh again. Cool. What? It's what estimated it is 3 billion? Okay, so Alexa ranking is 200. Not bad for a start, because they hadn't been doing it very long. Yeah. Um, hold on a second. Where do you find... Uh, to dinner. How do you, wait, how do you no. advertise on Skype? Oh, he got off. He picked up my mom. Okay. Here it is. I had to loan my car to a guy. <laughs> so this is a rental. Oh, here we go. Congratulations. I'm glad it all worked. Rebecca posted it. Yeah, Rob, mute yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so when are you going to start doing your PR? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was muted. I don't know how I got unmuted. Sorry. I'm going to mute myself again. <laughs> All right. So you were talking Skype. That's the website. I just posted in the chat. It seems like they do banner, mobile banner, and the heck is rectangle? Type rectangle banner. Rectangle banner. No, it just yeah. says because there is or there are already banners and the dimensions for it. I guess it's the rectangles like what Mobs does too, though they're just squares with information. <laughs> <laughs> squares. All right, let's take a look at the <laughs> two thirty-four times sixty-four. So expanding ad. Oh my god, it's a Word document. Huh. Okay. User experience, video, rich vendors. What the heck is this? Oh, they use, oh my god, these are the media vendors. I'm going to get a list of this. Yeah, put that down there on our list thing. <laughs> so these are good, these are good places to go. Smart Adster. Smart. Smart well, I think I think a rectangle is just the the format, whereas they're calling a banner ad something that's long and thin, okay. as opposed to uh, equal uh, as opposed to a rectangular or, or square. So, I got another question. If while we're doing yeah. this, go back to ban and do bannersbroker.com. I'm curious, being they do banners. On that, on your um, web thingy. Yeah, it's loading. Um, Banners broker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, on your. I, I'm just curious about it because they've had some problems, but I'm just curious what. Thirty-one days old. Okay, let's update it. Update it, baby. I love that. So you got 3.5 million visitors a day. They got Alexa ranking for 961. Gee, Manetti. So there is a lot going there because they're selling ads now. So that may not be a bad place to go either. Banner's broker is trying to say, save your a, business. Hold on. Oh, really? Let's check their how fast their pages. They're out of Belize. I've been an affiliate with them for a year and a half, but they do have their issues. Okay. Is it more of a back office kind of thing, or? Okay, so it's they load quite slow. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's because they're, they've upgraded to their 3.0 thing they're doing. They still have some issues. It'll get better. It's, they've just upgraded. Just for the record, how fast your pages will definitely affect because if it loads too slowly, people will leave. And so yep. when you come to um, Page Speed Insights by Google, you can just search it. Um, they will tell you exactly what's wrong with you. I don't understand anything over here. So I go on Fiverr and actually, or I Google what what's going on, or and I go on Odesk or Fiverr or any of the outsourcing thing. I go, I go to, um, and I just have a job posting that says, "Hey, fix this. This is my issue. Fix this," and that's it. So, <laughs> so what's a 64 out of 100 mobile? So you're trying to get as so, close to 100 as you can. Yeah, yeah. And and so you, you do this under Page Speed Insight. Yeah. yeah. So, Google developers, they have a bunch of things that 
can help you, okay? Um, oh my god, I don't even know where these... Who keeps taking pictures of this? Somebody keeps taking pictures off our site doing that, and I'm just curious, where, where, where is it going? Oh, you are, Bruce? Great! So, that way you can just go look at it. <laughs> you can share it. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. So, Banner's Broker is something... I don't even know what Banner's Broker is. What happened? Their HTML broke. No, their Java uh, broke. Bruce is with the NSA. <laughs> well, I don't even see Bruce on here. How did he... Oh, there he is. Yeah, you're not, you're not unmuted. You're not unmuted. You can talk, Bruce. I took advantage of it. Sorry. I was just curious about how many hits and everything they're going on there. They're not dying. They keep saying they're going to die. Some other, the bad people out there that give, you know, uh, reviews. Okay. Are they so reviews of... Well, they're not so paying real good. They're not paying as well as they were, but that was because of a lot of reasons. But and I want to go into it. But the, the the main thing is is that I I just really wanted to see how many hits, and you were telling me a bunch of hits, or three million something a day. But you have to know, um, this is how much it varies on websites. So this is where people go to to place ads. I would assume is that right. You can, yes, you can do that. But okay. they're also what we do. What we do, banners broker is where we're the affiliates on it, and what we do is buy banners, places, or a publishing, and things like that. And okay. so you buy these certain spots, and then they go to, let's say, it's a, to a Lexus website or whatever, you know. And it's it's a lot more complicated than that. But anyway, it's 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 it's. It was unique. Let's just put it this right. way, and you can make money. Some people are making, you know, easily tons of money. But the problem was that it was going out faster than it was going in, so there were some issues. Okay. All right. So, um, if you want to know more websites, like, like, let's say, for example, buy sell ads, just Google it. Okay. Um, websites like buy sell ads. All right, eight best alternative. February. I always look at the date. Date is very important. February eighteenth, twenty thirteen. That's a little uh, late. Let's take a look at that. But it's not as bad. There's twenty twelve. Um, yeah. All right. So let's see. What there was another about. one. Um, let's look at. Uh, so I wrote some of those down. Um, hey guys and gals, this is Rob Tepper. Uh, I'm here with my daughter, Becca. She is the celebrity who we've all heard about, and we're just about to go to dinner, so I'm going to sign off, but I thought you might just want to say a quick hello. Hello, Becca. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Becca. How are you? I'm the only important one here. <laughs> call that have been basically together for about the last almost seven hours <laughs> with a one hour break all working on, <laughs> on Facebook doing some of the coolest ninja strategies that nobody knows about. We have a guy from Punjab, India who's participating in this call right now. We've got a uh, woman, 21 year old in Toronto. We've got Charlie up in Oregon, Cindy in South Carolina. Who else is on the line right now? We've had, uh, we've Bruce. had uh, from the Bruce. Netherlands, uh, Bruce from Washington. Alina from another one from Toronto. Holy mackerel, what a crew. Incredible. And uh, uh, I forgot, uh, Fabiana, I'm from the Netherlands. On this call for almost seven hours. But it's not, it's not, it's kind of like being in a big conference room and working on the most secretive, coolest strategies. So have fun. Uh, the record button is still pressed, but I have a feeling that I'm going to have the same problem as last time which is that it's going to take 13 hours to download, and I'm going to have to kill it. <clears throat> so maybe you want to record on your end somebody, and uh, if you could just take good notes, I appreciate you all, all of you, and I'll catch up with you soon. All, okay. right. all right. Have a good dinner. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. So I just Googled literally websites like buy, sell ads, and then I came up with this.
now this blog has taught me that uh, there are so many other ones. If you're rejected by buy sell ads, don't worry, join Pooksy. Let's click into Pooksy. I don't even know. Control your ad, ad space, great exposure to network advertiser, instant payment to through pay through PayPal. Online advertising. So we might want to check this one out. Um actually let's check how many people come here to look for advertising. What the heck? <laughs> well you found out. <laughs> No. Oh well. <laughs> um, so, oh, I all publish it. I think I've heard of this before. Wait, yeah, John Chow uses used this before, um, and keeps it on a plug. Oh yeah, he keeps it on his website. Okay. So this. So what is it? Let's go see what it is. Okay, it says what is. OIO is an ad manager that enables you to maximize your revenue, save time, and keep you in complete control of your ad space. Sell and serve ads on any website using this PHP ad management script, which is a tech thing that I don't know of. It can even be used as a WordPress plugin right out of the box. So I guess these are all relatively, these should be relatively similar to buy sell ads because I, I googled eight but um, I googled and found eight best alternative sites. So, yeah. All right. So wait, hold on a second. How did we go from Facebook ads to buy sell ads? Because of Natchat, he's showing us. Um, we're looking at where uh, a lot of the people who are doing really well in Mob, uh, okay. they're using that site. So. Okay. All right. So. We can definitely try it out, because um, you know, even though we're trying to get good with Facebook ads, you know what you're meant to do: don't put all your eggs in one basket. So, I'm actually, um, if it'll be a great thing if we master Facebook, but like what I said earlier today, Facebook can change anything absolutely at any minute, and I I don't want us to put our money all of our money into Facebook and have it change and all of a sudden we have no um, income or wait no source of leads. But at That's the same Google. time it, it is the biggest. Yes. Yeah that but Google the does the same thing Google. too so. Yeah. And so like what really separates Facebook from Google is that Google goes always goes out of their way to do like a bunch of things and take over the world. I am I am <laughs> I am sure that sometimes down the line, maybe in a hundred years or so, Earth will be renamed Google <laughs> because everything that they're doing now is, is absolutely dominating everything. Um not only on the internet. And they really, really do well with technology. So yeah. And they hire people you like you, you young whippersnappers trying to take over the world and dominate the world. So it's little <laughs> if you ever know that all these there are only young people running around in bicycles in the in the room. I mean, it's just amazing some of the stuff I hear and see about Google. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, Bruce, what do you mean by what ads and banners do they use? No, that's what, what ads and banners they use for that new software that um Naja, we got to not today to find oh, out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, cool. We probably need to go. We need to go back to it just to find out some more. We're spying on what the other people are doing. The big dogs. Right. Yeah, that's definitely um, very important. So this, like, just for the record, everything that was said in this in this meeting goes nowhere other than the brain trust people. Okay. Um, because really, that like, if 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 you ask anybody, um, what their secret is. Their secret is to find out what other people's secret is. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like, awesome. That, that's really what it can, comes down to because, you know, every, like, as long as something, a, a piece of information is on the Internet, it's no longer a secret, right? Um, right. And especially when you're, like, drinking at an event or something, you spill everything. That just becomes it. But to do all this, like, I... Everything that I, I've just showed you from the buy sell ads to worth of webs, this is something that 
I do on a regular basis because I'm nosy. Okay, <laughs> like I will find out. Um, I want to know what I'll, what people are doing. Like I want to know what a certain company is doing and how they're finding their something. So usually, even if I go to like a website, I think it looks great, and there had there's a feature that I've never seen before. I go to support and go to the live live chat section and ask them. Usually they don't reveal, but it's still um, it's still worth trying. <laughs> well, that's true. But then, what drove you to buy the ad in San Diego? Oh, it was a pure. Um, I've never done this before. I gotta do something that I've never done before. And I actually, I've always want, I've always liked classic print ads. I'm a very vintage. Like I like anything vintage, um, include, including cars, drinks, or anything like that. I really, really enjoy it. Um, the 50s and 60s lifestyle, I guess. And so <laughs> when it comes to advertisement, I've actually always been a fan. Oh, let me tell you, when I was younger, um, and I, I probably told this story before. Prob when probably you were younger. <laughs> you yes. can't get any younger than you are. <laughs> OK, when I was literally a kid, um, <laughs> When my dad gets the newspaper section, like most people, they would want the comic section, right? My dad knows exactly what to give me. He gives me all the classified section and like the super supermarket, the grocery store ads, all that kind of stuff. Like this is what I would do. I would go into, I don't know, um, in front of my TV and I would, like it has nothing to do with it. It's just, it's just a habit. But I'd go in front of the TV, I'd look through it, and I'd be like, oh wow, this is fascinating. You get to save like two dollars on every pound of ham or something. <laughs> and I just look through it. So <laughs> it's, it's been a habit of mine. For You're going to be a millionaire one day. You will. You will. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, that's that's probably the going goal. To happen. Yeah, <laughs> that's there the you goal. go. Well, I mean, it's very hard to not make that happen with Moab, right? I mean, the company is very young. Max right, very right, young. Right. He's not yeah. going to die anytime soon. I, at least I hope not. That's why every time, I, I, uh, I have this habit of figuring out what he eats, and I will tell him to not eat like junk food and things like that. And so, <laughs> and so. Oh, yeah, I'm doing my planning for us. <laughs> keeping him alive is very important. Yeah, keeping him healthy and alive. And so it's really good that he goes on a 30-minute run every single day. <laughs> okay. Good advice. Right. All righty, do you want to see some more of that stuff with Nadja? Do you want to try to do some more? Uh, did did Nadja uh, finish? Because I, I didn't know. I was just... Interrupted no, absolutely everything. No, I think I, it was a good break time. I'm not sure if he's if he's going to do some more or not. But it did help he's us. Still, or he, he's, he's probably working. Yeah, yeah, he he's he still may. There. I know he might be working and learning more stuff to show us. So you know, we might need yeah. to give him research time. Yeah. Um, and I know you have to, your project to finish, but we still haven't done one ad. So we kind of, I don't know if we need to. I've been on here a long time too, so I don't know. What do you all want to do? Well, okay. I understand the, that, you know, the, 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 the taking action thing is very important, but I like to take the right action more than the wrong actions. And um, I, 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 I think... I agree. Yeah, I think since we, we started with, with Facebook, let's, let's continue with Facebook. And... Um, one of the things that's that gets people to that okay we got to do the things that will literally put money into our bank account okay right so we got to drive traffic to my top tier business because that's the highest converting offer right now in mob and secondly now that we know from navjot that uh, of uh, what of the other top earners are doing um go oh, did, did we we're capable of seeing or finding out how their ads look like, right? Right, we saw them. All the okay. new banners that MOBA got coming out, we've probably seen them before anybody else because we saw these cool ads that were coming out. Right, okay. So that must be either something that works or something that they've learned and are, are or trying testing. right now. Yeah. yeah, but it's always a good thing to take it from people who, who, who are earning money because they will know more than what we know now. So 
let's do this. Let's go. Let's switch back to Navjot and um, go through. We we've got screenshots of how the other people's ads look like, right? I think uh, uh, Bruce did that. Bruce, did you? Can you show one? Oh, he did, he can't because he he can't share he's the screen. The, yeah, he's not the presenter. But uh, yeah, we could probably pull one up. I'd like to see another one. Right. Okay. So, um, let's do the. Yes, a new presenter. I don't know if he's ready for that though. No, just go back to what we were talking about before. I mean, the the goal here now is to see what headlines and what ads are working, right? And then we'll 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 make a copy of that for Facebook. And then this is, I guess, we're going to keep all of our information, so we can probably use it for the future as well. Yeah, his screen is frozen. This is where we left when you started, okay. so he's not. So it's good now. Hello. Oh, oh she, there, there he is. is. Okay. Yay, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Hi. back, Navjot. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, so there, uh, first of all, I really appreciate Alin Chen for sharing his secrets. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, it's, it's no secret. It's just nosy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, just... Uh, Aline, I want to just tell you that recently I just scanned his website for junjunlee.com. So I have come to know about his banner. He's running this kind of banner. Yeah. Wow. And and y you know the by I'm just gonna tell you, um, Junjun told me about this over the weekend. You see how it says how Junjun Lee makes five thousand dollars per month within sixty six days and get a f Mercedes Benz for free. He said that he was stupid to put his name in it because people don't care about him. People care about somebody who is very much like him. So he should have put how China Boy makes five thousand or something like that, right? So that that's uh, and and he says that that banner has to be updated. Um, but here's just a here and there that I'm dropping. Yeah, but that is an excellent point. Okay. So we can easily do one like that. Now notice the color schemes that he has in his. We we used bold uh, red and white in ours. Uh, now I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But uh, do we do our banners with um uh with some with a designer or do we do them on our own? Uh, I think uh, Elena put them, most of them together, Elena and, and Peter, and uh, I thought you had something to do with that too, uh, Eileen. No, I haven't designed, but here's just a um, here's just an idea. If we outsource all of them, which like each banner is, is going to cost five bucks on Fiverr, and I know a really, really good designer on Fiverr. His English isn't so great, but he really knows his graphic design and how and he knows I don't know everything that I've got. Or I've received from him. All the color schemes are great, and I'll I'll share with you who it is on Fiverr. Um, great, but I've got but, a question. Yeah, Jun Jun Lee has a video on the end of his banner. How do you do that? No, it's not. It's not a video. It's a screenshot of a video. Ah, okay. Right? Oh, so yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the fact that it looks like a video makes you want to click it, right? Yes, it does. It, it works. That is so that is classic. That. Yeah, we that is classic. That. We need to do that then. Yes. So, I mean, what what I was getting at with the outsourcing is that we shouldn't, because we're all we're not um, graphic designers, right? And we we shouldn't spend so much time on doing something that doesn't, you know, that we, that we can outsource. Done for five bucks, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we get, let's say, we need ten by ten banners by the end of the week, we can start. Um, talking to, you know, we, we can start hiring the guys on, on Fiverr and tell them, okay, this is what I need done. The, this, these are the text. This is the image to use. Get it done. The, it, the size is uh, however dimensions times dimension, and, you know, they will get it done within five days. And so we can spend the rest of the time learning and doing exactly uh, and thinking about how we're going to do the next step. Yeah. Let's not stop at the 
better thing. This is um, these ads here, Bruce, are for mainly for other sites. This is not Facebook ads. This is banners. Banners go in different places, and I assume the uh, the um, which one that we're talking about. Um, Where we, oh, the site scout and stuff like that, right? And buy sell ads. We can use those banners, right? I know for a fact that Junjun doesn't haven't used Facebook ads at all, other than the Home Business Summit, which he didn't bring anyone. I, I, he actually no, he did. He brought one person there, but it was a it was a it was also a partner. So um, I'm not sure. I know his schedule was is that he spent he's going to be doing Facebook ads but he hasn't so why don't we go with somebody who is currently doing Facebook ads um, well the king know? of Facebook the king of Facebook ads were Matt because Jonathan Budd had Matt doing them for him so we can learn from the king himself <laughs> okay um, can we look up any of that um, Oh yeah. Uh, uh, now, John, can we look up um, those new stuff that he was put out? Did we see anything that looked like a Facebook ad that they were testing out? Now, John. I think it might have froze on us again. No. Nope. He's moving. Okay. Hello. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. So, okay. So right now we don't have subscription for social at ninja dot com. Okay. So it will be better that if I share you the data tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. But can we see the new stuff that uh, that we saw of Mob, uh, the my top tier the ones? Because she didn't see them. I wanted her to see those. Okay. Okay. Sure. 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 So first of all, let's explore some data. So here, Junjun Lee is running the ads media uh, banner ads at Britannia.com via Site Scout. Yeah. And these are the main Site Scout is the main me um, top of the banner media for Junjun Lee for getting traffic. Apart from that, I have scanned a website. My top tire business dot com and it comes with this kind of stuff. It's eleven to five, yep, it was yesterday. Okay. But we probably shouldn't advertise on the no. websites that people are already advertising with, right? Okay. Well yeah, we should. We should because we can have ours look different. That is correct. Okay. And Michelle so, uh, so, uh, Pesconidia, so, she is all about hey, Facebook. You're right, she is. Yeah. And so, so um, okay, Eileen. So much. as you are watching the screen, yeah. So they are getting 80 to 90 percent of traffic from Media Buy, Bing Ads, Site Scout, Squiggy, Pink, Chigo, Adus, Ad Sonar, Buy Sell Ad. Right. Okay. And but this is this is hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Because and these are the and these are the banner. Hmm? Please continue. Um, well, I'm just wondering because this definitely says mytoptierbusiness.com, but does that include people from my top tier business and their ads? Because it's probably not going to be a. You know what I'm trying to get at is that we have so many partners out there, and if we don't know specifically who is actually advertising on then we might think that oh maybe this website is good to advertise with but really that may not be a top earner do you see what i'm saying <laughs> right well we're assuming we're assuming these are all uh, matt stuff are you saying that it's not well let uh, the links let, okay so my top tier business dot com directly goes to matt and his 100 percent equity company but mytoptierbusiness.com slash go slash a13573 slash af something mm -hmm. is my affiliate code so right. but the domain so the main website is still mytoptierbusiness.com so that's what I'm 
I'm, I'm trying to get at. Because if you go through anyone's affiliate link even now, it will forward you into the mytoptierbusiness.com. So, I mean, we can't really tell. But one thing that I know... Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So one thing that I, I think we, we can look at are on what, what runs where. Are, are people like um, Mike Dillard, his companies um, with Magnetic sponsoring... And hold on. Can you go to the top? Sure. Actually, let's go with this one. Good enough. Okay, and type in this. Copy and paste. BetterNetworker.com. Who's that? Um, I don't remember who it's by, but oh my god, I I, I don't remember who it's by, but that's the that's literally. I believe that this is a website type networker marketing, but uh, may need a dub 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 before it. No, I. Okay, let me try. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't get Jonathan Budd's sites either. He couldn't get um, who else? Oh, John John Charles. We did the driving with John yes. Charles, and we couldn't get him. Yes. I don't think it's possible to get driving with John Charles because <laughs> John. He is quite a smart guy, and he. he He's well, here's actually, the thing. He uh, doesn't really advertise. <laughs> he uses social media as advertising. All those fancy, fancy food photos and things like that. Yes, Mike Dillard founded BetterNetworker.com. Okay, so run that website. Mike Better Dillard? Better Network. Yeah. Can, can you type it in the chat box? Yes, I have. No. Uh, okay. Delete. BetterNetworker.com. But it's he tried it. Results. I have scanned it already. Oh, okay. No so, such hold on. Where does Better Networker? Okay. There must be. I need to find out exactly what people do. Try network network marketing. All right. Try network marketing pro. So networkmarketingpro.com. This is by Eric War. Again. The um not nothing Still. again. Okay. Um. Why is that? Wait, wait a second. Can you switch the type um switch the switch the tab to buy publisher? Oh, by advertiser. That might I wonder if that would do it. Yeah. And go to okay, networking yes. network marketing pro. You also, you can try the elevationgroup.com. Nope. Okay. All right. So we probably have to try keywords. Let's just keep trying until we see if we. By yeah, uh, try the elevationgroup.com. Uh, yeah. Oh my God! This will be huge. <laughs> oh. This so just, I, I, yeah, Mob. I don't <laughs> think Mob would work. Try um, my online business empire. Okay. <laughs> Those don't look like Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're wanting that ring before you get your Mercedes. I don't want the Mercedes. I've had one. I'd rather have a truck. <laughs> well, this is what you can do. 
you go get it for like a month and do and shoot the video and you use that for your marketing and just take there your you card go. back. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's actually one of the reasons why um, Terry hasn't gotten his Mercedes because he wants a Dodge. How fun! Well, as far as cars go, I'm a Lexus guy. Uh, oh, okay, cool. They're just much better made, I think. Personally, if gas wasn't too expensive, I'm a suburban. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like a, a suburban. Get a Tesla. A Jimmy. Oh, a Tesla. You're right. That'd You're right. I, I, that would be good. Well, Happy and successful. Look at this. This is yeah. good. Now, who is is this? Uh... No, there's so many. Um, yeah, this, I, I guess their keyword isn't together because they're literally targeting every word that we put on. Huh. Yeah, um, that's keyword. How well, about Matt Lloyd? Can you do Matt Lloyd as a keyword? Matt Lloyd Go is ahead. also a football, um, he football is. player. So, I mean... <laughs> Let's see. He doesn't push his name, though. Nope. Nope. Yeah, you're right. So I mean, we don't have to search through 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 all of this, but now that we know buy sell ads works, we can start with that. Yeah, well, we couldn't find any of the other key people where they're 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 going. So that, I, I just wish we could figure out a few more people. Who else is big? There's John Ch Chow and there's Junior Lee and. Who else are big top? Bud. Well, Jonathan's not doing that stuff right now. It's well, it's Carolina Millen. But her website is more on this Spanish platform. I would think. Okay. Um. Do you know any websites of of any of the people that you saw this weekend? There's Finn Street. Well, people do different things, but one thing. I would that, love to know the. Wait, hold on. I I I, I have something. Um, oh, crap, ignition. Just a business model. Just ignition. Okay, let's run this one. This website. Yeah, right now. Um, okay, run that website and see see what comes up. Ignition Partner Program dot com. Yeah. Ignition Partner Program. Well, he's moving around, isn't he? Yeah. Bruce keeps asking about Facebook, and I'm kind of curious about that too. What are what are we going to do about Facebook? Well, you're right. We need to be getting on it. We're going to just get one more idea. We, we can't do any uh, looking at, we don't have the software today. We're going to get it tomorrow. So we can't see the ads that people okay. are doing on Facebook. So it really, the social media stuff for tomorrow, okay. we can see. Oh, my God. There we are. 100%. We've got it. Well, okay, here's the reason why I'm doing this. Is a, I'm mm -hmm. checking with Ignition partner program. I met this guy, actually I've met him a couple of times, but his, his name is Justin Glover, and he's really, like, his entire company, all they do is top tier stuff, and in Cabo, he revealed to me that he was doing this soon, and that's why in the past week or so, you, 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 will, you will start to see their, their, um, their ads running around. It's going to work something like my top tier business, but in a different mode. Um, Look at it. Ignition, 11-step blueprint, earn six-figure income. Take that. Save that leader. Uh, save that image. Right-click, save it. Cool. So is this really... Um, but he's in mob too? He's a, like, he's practically... He's a friend of Matt's, and he's helped... He's coached Matt. And he comes to the masterminds every now and then. 
Um, but really, he, I, I even asked him what he was, oh, my wife kept just her job. Check, okay. check this data. So let's go this to, let's go problem. to buy, sell, ad for that. Um, Quit her job. My wife quit her job. <laughs> that must be a big, a big sight. Cause that's a, not the first one that we've seen today. Oh, yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So. Uh, good for Bruce. <laughs> Okay, great. So, how did how wait how did the ad Thanks. look like again? Oh, it I says, love that, dear boss. I quit. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I wish you could find out. Go find out real quick on that. What? How it? How many people go to this site? I'll do that. I'll do that on my end. Yeah, yeah. Do it on your end. And see if it. How many people are hitting it, and why people are going to this. I guess it's because her the website's very very interesting. <laughs> um, it's it's got aspiring. 20, you got a little un, a little bit under twenty five thousand visitors a day. Let's check how much it costs to advertise with them from buy sell ads. But yeah, in the next few weeks, you will see a lot of things from ignitionpartnerprograms.com. It's, See, this it's is cost awesome. around six dollar for one thousand impression. That's okay. not so it's bad. It's quite cheap. Right? Really yeah. Cheap, okay. So you see, this was this was this is what I would do. So we definitely like when we're doing banner ads, especially banner ads. There is really no point of doing banner ads on anywhere else other than the header, the above fold, above the fold. So. Yes. Um, but this is what I would do. I would take that dimension. It's 728 times 90, right? I would take this to Fiverr and say, hey, this is the size of what I'm going to do. Then I would also attach ignition, like the, the, uh, the image that I asked Navjot to save just now and say, make it look something like this, but with these words. Excellent. And then that's going to be... Um, that's yeah, but we, you don't think that's going to get us in trouble with Matt because that is his friend. We don't want it to look too similar, oh, no. do we? It's not, that's not the case. Um, Justin, if anything, Justin, he always tells me that, like, he he actually, I know I will always remember this clearly. He said, Eileen, where are you getting your traffic now? And I, I said, okay, solo ads. And he says, all right, where? And he says, um, and, and I said, uh, whether I Google it or go to safe swaps or go to the warrior form, like the main ones. And he says, all right, that's exactly where you don't go. That's exactly where you don't go because everyone else is going there. Okay? And so that's when, um, uh, <laughs> and that's how exact, uh, that, that, that's what he said. This entire business is based off that. Your income, your conversions are based on the fact that you are at places nobody else is at. So, um, I don't, he, he is, I don't know, many, many banners look like that, but if that's something that really works, then we should do that. Amen. I, don't reinvent the wheel. I agree. So, that's cool. All right. Is there anything else that we need to look at? I think we already have a good understanding on what we can do. Because he's doing totally sell ads. That blows me away. Yeah. And yes, it is quite amazing. And yeah. I mean, right now the this company um, or this program that that they've started hasn't been hasn't been fully developed. So, in the future, we will definitely see more of their source. Let's do the Ripplin. I still did. We do something with Ripplin to find out what? Could you find anything? Where are they doing any ads or any sort, or they're not? Oh, yeah. Did you check that the last time can when you I type, asked? Can you type that? Yes, I can. Charlie, is it Ripplin <laughs> or uh, it's not? Yeah, Ripplin's the only one that can use Ripplin.com, right? Oh, well, no, they. Well, it's theirs. Yeah. 
But is that I right? I don't know that they don't allow you to, uh, to use others to use it. I mean, no, I'm just wanting to see what if they're doing any ads. Yeah, there you go. Rippling in yeah. code YouTube. Yeah, that's the YouTube version of it. I was just curious it's if they're PP, doing it. Isn't it? All right, PPL. It's all right, PPLN dot com. No, right. it's Ripplin. It is it? It's all right, PPLN. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's the site. So, but there's no ads or anything on it. I'm just curious if they've done any ad. Nope, no ad ads at all. All right. What system? Any other site? Any other sites? Anybody got anything? KevinNations.com. KevinNations.com. Try that one that Bruce has. He only does high-end uh, programs. Never heard of him, though. That's because it's high-end. Uh-oh. <laughs> No. Nope. That's for advertisers by publishers. What's the difference between advertisers and the publishers, Matt John? Advertisers uh, are what we are. Publishers yeah. are. We're, we're the they advertisers. Have, well, yeah, website. publishers are. They they give out the websites for advertisers to advertise on. Okay, and that's where Banner Broker does both advertising and publishing. Okay, I get that now. All right. So that's really the best place to find it is through through um, advertiser, right? He's just going to check yes. by publisher. Let's see what he does because they have different sites that they do on publishing. Nope, <laughs> it's not picking it up though. Huh? No numbers. What does that mean? Unrankable on Alexa. Oh, okay. See down there on the bottom right. Oh. See that little pin? Looks like what is that? A asterisk? A Pinterest? That's not the Pinterest symbol. Is yeah, it? but it's saying Alexa is down there below, though. That's pretty cool. At least you can see it's unrankable. <laughs> All right, bigticketmastermind.com. Okay. See, that's going to be the hard part on this, using this software, is finding the right things that we'll know to look. Yeah. Risk um, another site. Most of all, like, mo a lot of people like to think of Move as an affiliate program, and it is an affiliate program, but, but the problem with general affiliate programs is that they are not high ticket. People are used to buying things under a hundred bucks. People are used to buying ten dollar ebooks. So that's not exactly what we're looking for. Um, whereas network marketing and the other I don't Ooh. like as much called multi level marketing. Helene just Helene just uh, want to interrupt you. Just check this figure for big idea mastermind.com. He's getting seventy seven percent traffic from buy sell ads. Okay. Check Do we that know which out. website? Can we can you go through the in depth where we we check out which places they've listed on buy sell ads? Okay. I just realized we are going to be making a lot of money together. I hope so. <laughs> Definitely yes. I mean I can't do this all on my own because I only have 24 hours a day. Well, and you multiply all of us with that 24, we've got a lot of hours. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot more hours yes, down here in the, in the United States. Yeah. Learn Bones. What on earth is <laughs> Learn Bones? Don Com. I'm going to have to write a few of these sites and look at them because I've never heard of such a thing. Learn Bones. Learn Bones. <laughs> that's <laughs> what that's is, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> bones. What, what, does anybody know what the word prevalence means? 
Prevalent? I just mean the, yeah, most uh, are, it prevails more than others. Oh, okay. So let's just go to the place that has the most. Oh, he's looking at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Learned. What oh, that's is cool. this? That Big is cool. IDMS. They got learned bones those. of the human body. How about that? All right, um, Eileen, you need to go check <laughs> and see how many people hit hit this uh, site. I'm curious. They're getting places where other people. So they're hitting a certain market of people. That, that is, that's what I, I was saying earlier. You don't need. You can hit whatever market you're going to hit, and you might pick up somebody that you would never even suspect to pick up there. Yeah, that's all you have to do piece. is. Science make the games. advertisement relevant and make your opt-in page yeah. relevant and yeah that's really all it is I mean like we if we do this once we can do it a dozen of times we can do it thousands of times learnbones.com yeah. he's got doing it to check it out real quick good for you now Jack you learn <laughs> you do fast this guy's quick 46 out of a hundred yeah, they don't. They don't have such good. But no. they're getting hits. So even though they may not be big hits, this is real selective. Hold on a people. second. I think I think I know what's going on. The person who is behind Learn Bones is probably a member of the Big Idea Mastermind, and just post their <sighs> ads on there. Ah, you're probably right. Because it does say media buy, it doesn't say buy so last. Can you go back to um, what runs where on the Big Idea Mastermind? All right, so blogging eHow, that's what I'm going to check. Blogging All right, geeksdesk, geeksdesk.com. Hold on, let me get some of these uh, links. Geeks and Mom and More looks interesting. Mom and More com. Anything like... Um, Burning old bones or baby boomers gone down under. <laughs> well, yeah. Whatever. Uh, Whatever works. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you're a baby boomer, it's starting to feel it. Oh. Methods. These are interesting. If anything, I'm learning about, hey, there's a lot bigger world out there that I've not visited. I, I definitely like the um, net chunks, blogging eHow, because they started early in March. Actually, they've been really consistent with, because uh, they, they, yeah, it, they started advertising in March, May, it, what, 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 what month is it now? November? So March, April, May. That's not, that's not bad. So if they're doing it over and over again, it must be working. Look at these. Look at these. Big idea. Right. What do nobody can make money online? Join the movement and make history. What do you do, big idea? So that's all we have to do. Oh, you know who that is. I know who that guy is. He's the uh, yeah. What's his name? Ben something. He's he's one of them big gurus, affiliate marketing gurus. He's one of the, you all should have seen him. He's pretty big. Yeah, I've seen his face, but I don't know his name. He's he's with them, hangs with those other guys. I mean, they all know each other real Vic well. Vic Strice House. Vic Strice House is his name. Yes, Vic yes. Okay. Vic Strice. So he's okay. probably he's the guy that's in the Big Idea Mastermind then, H E U S. He is, he is the Big Idea Mastermind. It's uh, that's his group within within Empower Network. Okay, I knew I knew him. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So, do you have all the websites down? I'm gonna take a screenshot I, of it. Can yeah, I did. It? Yeah, Learn Bones. I, I <laughs> that was interesting. And the blogging one, I didn't get that blogging one. Blogging, that was at the top. E, e blogging. Blogging, I think. E how. Blogging, e how. Yeah. You're familiar so, with that one, right? No. Blogging, e how gets 41,822 40, 41, visitors a day. Um, let's check.
quickly how much they cost. Logging how? All right. Oh, they are really cheap. <laughs> All right, we might keep in mind them then if they're cheap. They're cheap, and Big My Idea Mastermind is doing it. So they're, it's it's um. $79 for 30 days, $69 for 30 days. Oh, one thing that you should all know, um, when you start buying ads on buysellads.com, uh, it's, it's usually for 30 days, but they won't tell you. Um, they, will, they, they will think that you're going to keep advertising, so they will charge you for it. So, like, towards the end of the 30 days, we gotta get somebody on our team to keep a note on uh, on all the deadlines for for these ads and make sure if it doesn't go if it doesn't run well we stop it. Well, we're not gonna wait thirty days, though, are we? Well, no. you have to the first thirty, don't you? Uh, well, it's it, once you buy it, you know, you, the, the traffic will come through in thirty days, and it's not going to be because uh, a lot of this is trial and error, but um yeah I mean 70 bucks for 30 days that's that's a really good price for testing no kid look at this this is your uh, now what I don't understand is just, why just we're check, able just check this landing pages the account has been suspended this account has been suspended yes. hmm. how do you check the landing pages When I clicked on the landing pages, right? It gave me the ticket. Oh, okay. How 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 much is this? About their the landing program? pages. Pardon? How much is this one? This program. For a month, two ninety nine. Cost about around one. Yes, 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 yes. Two ninety nine okay. per month. But we have purchased its subscription. Today okay. we have just purchased this subscription and we all yeah, will share. Yeah, I mean that's going to save us a lot data. of time. And we then login in for with our members. Okay. All right. That that sounds good. Yes, great. and we will split the cost between our between us. Yes. Yeah. And okay, that 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 so, works out. So this is giving amazing. Apart from uh, that, we are going to purchase. Yes. And apart from that, we are also going to purchase subscription okay. for Social App Ninja, which which uncover Facebook campaigns. Yeah. And okay, that's good. We. All right. I think that we will. Yes, I think that we will do it by tomorrow because Rob cool. has left the meeting. Awesome. Due to some. Dinner. So we aren't too far off from Facebook because we don't even have the tool for it yet. That's exactly right. Right. So we shouldn't feel bad about. <laughs> no, but we gotta get. We've gotten ideas of what we need to do um, as far as and what not to do is in right. these banner ads and stuff. So we've learned yeah. a lot. We're we're ahead of the game for the other stuff. Yeah. So yeah. this is good. You were Cindy. You were going to say something. You said why doesn't and then you and then I guess we didn't trust you. Okay. Well, the question I had, and it was to that job, is that um, why is it that we this big idea mastermind picked up and we were able to find all this information for him, but yet some of these others have not? I mean, are they really um, hidden? Uh, is there some way to cloak their site so you can't find that information? Mm -hmm. I think definitely Actually, there's uh, a way to get around that. Well, when you find out, let us know, because we have we wanted to find what the big dogs of Mo were doing, and we have not been able to get yes, any yes, of them. Yes, definitely. I would love to hear also. Okay, sure. Okay, so, I'll okay. I'll do the research as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, because we got Jun Jun's, but we didn't get John Chow's, and we didn't get um, FollowTerry dot com. Yeah. And Carolina Milan dot net. Yeah. Can you search YouTube visitors? I mean, you, you, YouTube channels? Because Carolina, John, as well as actually Terry's only source of ink, uh, so only source of traffic is 
I mean, Terry's only source of high quality traffic comes from YouTube. Huh. So his specialty is YouTube. Well, okay. he just every few days he makes a video and then he goes he goes out and he gets on the phone with whoever calls him and then yeah they close themselves on license rights and then they become titanium platinum afterwards and Terry well, Terry then takes out his plan and goes flying for a few hours or days. That's his how life. funny that is so funny. <gasps> What's the one in Chicago, Illinois? What what which one is that? Supercharge. Supercharge? Well, that's what's going on in uh, Arizona. Oh, let me see. What? Uh, yes. What's uh, Bruce? Bruce, what's your friend advertising on Plenty of Fish? Is that kind of a, a, oh, right. Bruce a was talking about thing or anybody? It's Plenty of Fish dot com. Okay. Yeah, it's a dating website. Oh my goodness! A fish. Yes, and he 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 advertises um, uh, for rent to own homes, and believe it or not, he generates a couple hundred leads a month. Wow! Wow! And my point is just you know we don't need to be strictly confining ourselves to sites about making money or finance, um, as we saw from. Uh, Vic Strice's house, we can go to some pretty obscure sites and probably get some really inexpensive uh, um, rates. You're right. Well, I'm glad you're here seeing all this because you'll have to remind us all when we're starting to do this. But we're not, who's the team? The team that does the media buys and stuff. Are you on that team, Bruce? I was at one time. I don't know if I am anymore. I don't think anybody's changed, so you probably are. When well, you should be with your yeah. expertise. Well, I'm not an expert. I just I just have seen a lot of guys that that have been very successful. That's really well. That good. helps. I the, the number of people I've ever seen face to face is probably countable by hand. <laughs> That's because you were out in the lobby stealing signs. Oh, dear. Yeah. I, you're going to get hit with that every time. <laughs> well, you know, that's what happens that's to gonna... teachers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have a lot of fun with the team. <laughs> yes, you are. You're our baby. You're the baby. Oh, that's cute. You're the baby, Eileen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and the you know, smartest well, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you well, go. Who's older, Charlie? You, Rob, or um? I just turned thirty-nine. You did not, liar. Well, <laughs> well, it 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 was in the same numerical system. It might have been different numbers, but when, when you check Terry um, Lamb, did you check followterry.com or what site did you use? I think he did follow Doc uh, Terry. Okay. I think he said follow follow Terry dot com. Snapchat does will it allow you to um, to only check domains or like uh, subdomains and pages as well? Because we could I easily believe, mm -hmm. yeah we yeah we can easily just take mm -hmm. whoever's landing page like Matt's landing page and just punch it in there and see where all the traffic is from going towards that landing page. Okay, uh -huh. but I believe that uh, we only check the main domain, not the subdomain. So if you want to test it out, just uh, send me a subdomain URL. I will scan it and let's watch it live that what will happen. Hold on okay. a second. Let me go to Terry's. Um, uh, actually, no, Terry's not a. Is it Terry Lamb or Terry? Terry Lamb. It's this is one of Terry's. This is one of Terry's pages. Rocketoffers.leadpages.net. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah we'll go with that. Let's see if it works. <laughs> and um, have you guys watched any of the testimonials I, I mentioned, uh, or case study that I mentioned to Bruce earlier? or when we were talking. 
That's what no. I gave you guys the account and everything. <laughs> we, oh. we, we've been online all day. <laughs> we've been oh, online. Yeah. There, and we, yeah, and we uh, and I did take an hour break to try to eat, and I wound up eating while we were doing this. Okay, so this sub, the link which the Bruce has given me brings no result. Okay. No results. Man, this is stinks. I'm telling you, these guys are stealthy. The, how long is this whatrunswhere.com? How long has this software been out? It is, it is for about past two years. Two years. I guess they know about it. Now they yeah. figure out a way to be stealthy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there are lots of softwares. Oh, by the way, if you want to check... Um, like say for example if you know like of a software or something and you want to know if there are anything else better all you have to type is the software name and space and then versus so bs and then space and it should come out so wait let me check that right now what runs where versus And then usually you'll be led to like a forum or some sort of discussion of people talking about their experience with these websites. You put it in Google and it comes out there? Well, you Google search because people, it's on the internet, right? There's always people, like everything that you've ever thought about, somebody else on somewhere here, around the world has thought here, about. So the first result is at beat versus what's done here. Add beat. Best. All right. Let's check add beat. I'm going to go to AdBeat. Actually, you go to AdBeat, I'll go to another website. And Bruce has given us another voluntary thing we could try. Mixrank.com. Let's go to Mixrank.com. In your other life, you're going to be a detective, aren't you, Eileen? But I thought that this will also. <laughs> other life? In your other life, yeah. <laughs> you won't be a teacher. You'll be a detective. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, okay. Products. No, it didn't work. She'll I probably take there. up a life of crime. Stealing signs. I mean, come Stealing on. Stealing signs, yeah. All right, guys. There's a uh, there's a website. Navjot, go to mixedrank.com. Mixedrank.com. Yeah. Put it in the chat box. Mixed rank. M I X R A N K. Okay. Before that, uh, check this feedback. R W R is that. older and has a bigger it's database. Has bigger so that's a that's a plus for it. All right, and the discussion is the August twenty third. This should this year. What runs? Mixed rank. This looks interesting. The mixed rank does. Yeah. Um, I am quite familiar with this website, but I believe that uh, that the Watson Wear is a one of the best alternative for getting okay. uh, All right. that's information that. about that. That's, that's, that's He's that. done his homework. He's steered oh. us in the right direction. Yes. <laughs> that saves us a lot of time. Okay. Okay. Let me share some one another thing with you. Okay. That's one. And I believe that you will found it quite interesting. Okay, let's go for a website. Follow Jerry. Uh, first of all, I will open a website. Its name is app.fall.net. So what I do here, I will type a um, domain name, suppose junjunfree.com and here you get the secret data. Secret data? Just check it out. 
take a screenshot. <laughs> it's not so secretive anymore. He's getting his traffic from. <laughs> Okay. Take a picture. <laughs> well, this is what your other thing said. The same thing, Britanna, and I didn't see the nav, uh, net Vasco. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let me try some other side. Oh my goodness. Do you guys know, uh, uh, actually, uh, I will speak about it after this, because I, I probably have to, this, this thing I'm going to talk to you about it probably has to go on for another hour. <laughs> what are you, uh, are you what can, were you so excited this, about? Check this one. Ah, follow Terry Coaching. Follow Terry Coaching. Follow Terry. Follow coaching. Terry. coaching. coaching. Apart from that, there is one more. More site, it's CPA Network. Follow Terry.com. CPA Networks. Dot follow Terry. This one. Follow Terry. This building. Pay surveys. Forex. So I see that. These are his website. Actually, it uh, is. It is located on the same IP address. That's why this is showing us that's not out. Ah. Okay, let's check some other website. Wow. <laughs> Oh, you guys, oh my god. This is insane. So you guys are going to love this. Just check it out. What are those on the right? 96% of traffic coming from Bicel Ads. Yeah, 96. <laughs> 96. Right? 96 bucks. <laughs> No, ninety-six percent. <laughs> okay. Of his traffic comes Percent. from there. Yeah. And check this out. He's also purchasing from MSN and Chitika. Chitika, Chitika. That sounds like a a, a fruit. Chit Chitika is a uh, uh, advertising platform which offers contextual advertising. Huh. WorkAwesome.com. <laughs> He's only How getting ten out of. of that's <laughs> not even a, That's not even statistically significant. Navjot, is this a Google Chrome app? Yes, it also has a Firefox uh, plugin. So right, when I that. just open any website, just like mytoptirebusiness.com. Yeah. So I can also see the, the same data by just clicking on this. It's uh, follow.net. Follow.net. See, there's his closing. So when page. I click on this button, it it is display the same information in the sidebar. And well, this is the now I have benefit a new of game. adding a Firefox <laughs> add-on. So here you see the whole data yeah. again. So whenever you have to scan any website, just click on the tab on that yeah. button, and you will see all data in the sidebar. Okay, cool. Hope that this tool will definitely help you all. And this is a free tool, and you can use help us all to make your prof campaign. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey Excellent. guys. All right. Let's go back to Facebook. Anyways, I have received a message from Peter, and he says, check this website out when you have time. Usually, when people say, when you have time, I don't, I don't do it, but 
Since I wasn't doing anything, I, I checked it out. So, this was what Peter sent me. This is the website Peter sent me. Who we is... lost Bruce. Oh. You're got, you've got a uh, pres presenter now, Arlene. Alright. Did Bruce leave? Yeah, Bruce did. He might come back. Maybe. Alright, so... Yes, he's back. Ah, he right. came back. Bruce! Bruce. Yes, we didn't want to leave you. Don't leave us. Okay, so this is the website he sent me, and the, apparently, okay, I'm gonna go through the tour with you because I I just went I went through it. Apparently, you install some things. We'll ask Rob about this, and then create a retargeting list. Then build a campaign for Facebook and then bring them back. So even if we we're able to retarget Facebook traffic. Wow. And oh, wow. This looks like Greek to me, so explain. Okay, so let's say right now you uh um you pass by an ad that says 1 2 3 and you ignore that ad. But the fact that you have seen it means that you are some sort of target traffic, and some 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 200 website you visit later, um, a pop-up for an ad, they do retargeting. So that means this it's this it's towards the same company, the same website, but with a different uh, look to try to get your attention again. And then for that, you get the new sales. Your landing pages convert the visitors we bring back. You make more money. Oh, cool. Wait, I want to. I want to go ahead and look at their pricing. How much does Start, it cost? It's it says free. free. Free trial for seven days. Start free trial, but it doesn't say camp. Okay. So let's start Probably doing that right after we buy the Facebook, social media, some something that we're going to buy tomorrow. Should we do that? Uh, what, what, okay, you're excited about this because why? Okay, so any time that we target to a certain amount, um, to to a certain audience, if they don't click on our ad, we will keep targeting them, targeting them until they click on our ad. Can you, I mean, how does that work? Apparently, this program allows you to do it. Okay. It, it, it's the same principle as, as having an email autoresponder. It takes five to seven, eight times, eight touches before you, you typically get a sale. So that's what retargeting does. It keeps popping the same ad in front of, peop, in front of eyeballs so they get used to seeing it, and finally you wear them out. And they and they click on the ad. Okay, and, but the point. Okay. Uh, the, okay. Go ahead, actually, Ed. let me explain. Let me explain the technical stuff. Actually, whenever a use, user click on a Facebook ad, it drop a cookie on his computer. So whenever the the same visitor open Facebook uh, account, his Facebook account, he the the uh, perfect audience displays the same uh, banner for the same uh, advertiser to the same person. So this is the technical way. That's how it's work. Okay. All right. That's cool. But the, my question is this: When I open up Facebook and I'm going, I'm looking for specific things. Um, I'm looking to see for so and so if they said something, or if I've got any messages or new people I need to uh, to 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 friend or whatever. I'm looking now. I see on my peripheral on the right those ads. Okay, are they saying because I'm seeing it on the peripheral that I'm looking at those ads? Is that what they're assuming? Yes. 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 Is, is that not interesting? Technology, huh? Yeah, well, but it's awesome. it, it also takes in it, it's it's subliminal. You'll you'll pick it up. Your mind sees it, whether you think you do or not, and your mind pays attention to it, whether you think it, you did or not. And then yeah, but that it, um, that uh, you you have to be be fed this information eight to ten times before you actually click into it. 
will come up. That's not necessarily true. Because for, well, at least maybe it's because I'm a marketer and I, I, I know this stuff. But when I look at stuff and there's some things I don't want to see or I don't want to, you know, I will, no matter how many times you throw it, I may just leave the pages so I don't have to look at it. You know, but if I, there's something that I'm attracted to, which they know, Facebook knows, it gets the algorithms, I guess, to know that, you know, dogs, or especially dachshunds, they'll throw everything under the sun when it comes to dachshunds, those little weenie dogs, you know, <laughs> and I see them a lot. It's like, I've never seen these things before. Now I okay. see them all the time. So now we got to make sure we don't target the marketers. <laughs> that's, no. that's all. That's all, you're, that's all I'm saying. I mean, marketers are the easiest people to sell. Not necessarily. It just depends on what, what gets you... You know, everybody has a everybody has a push point. You know that's going to push them. You know, now believe it or not, I I don't buy anything right now. We're kind of trying to watch our pennies. However, because the Dachshund site keeps coming up, they sold me because it gave money to the animal. You know, helping the so animals you, and and so it you helped. Just, you just made the point, Cindy. Yeah, <laughs> I did, didn't I? Because the point is, I bought the stupid, I'm a hoodie fan, and it had a dachshund on it, and it helps for breast cancer. They got me. <laughs> so they got me with three things. Awesome. Awesome. I, I like the way you think. Yeah, well, I did. Because if it works on you, it's going to work on a lot well, of people. Well, well <laughs> the point is, exactly, but the thing is, I, I, I love hoodies, and so they Facebook must know that because of my Pinterest and stuff. But then having the dachshund and the breast cancer and giving money away, I love giving money away. So you you got to win-win. So you yeah. have to find that targeted market for that. Now, not everybody's like me, though. I mean, you got to find the ones who are highest uh, conversion it's, rates. It's, it's proven with empirical data that it takes five to eight touches for the typic, the average person to buy. So that's the whole concept behind retargeting. All right. So we are going to stalk. We are going to stalk these people to death. Stalk them, and we're spying too. We're breaking no. all the rules. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even check the website, but Peter said. Stock the non opt ins to the ends of the earth. That's what oh, got that? me clicking to it. <laughs> He's, he, that's the best way of saying it. That is cool. <laughs> you know what? That is, that is really true because well, imagine on the internet, imagine just in the past few hours that we've been doing this, how many websites we've gone through, how many things we've looked at. So we're, yep, yep. we're being okay. thrown out that stuff all, all the time. So if we're capable of retargeting, it will definitely build a, a, a mar much greater awareness impact, I would say. Um, what, is the so price, what is the price of this? So far, it has not been seen because it just that, says start scroll, the free scroll trial. Down. Scroll down. Uh, I, I thought I, I saw it. Oh, I saw it from $1.25 to uh, $2.25. Which is I saw 236 No, no, no. It says 0 0.25, I mean 0.25-0 to 40 Point forty for Facebook retargeting and one point two five dash two point two five for web retargeting on average. And that's for cost per impression. Per that's not, yeah. No. That's is that per thousand? Yeah. CPM. M is M is impression. I mean M is one thousand in the Roman numerals. Yes. So, so one thousand one thousand retargeted uh, impression. So that's practically the same thing as what we're going to pay for Facebook ads, except for we keep retargeting them to make them bite. So now, now we've got things down. All right, let's start another one of those how-to things. Um, okay, Facebook ads. This is our plan. Okay. And you're Express saving all this, right? IDs from whether it's social lead freak. Extract them from from gurus, affiliate marketing programs, systems, projects, softwares, groups, network marketing, the same thing, and what else? Uh, make money online, investing, 
Okay, that's step one. Step two, what we're going to do is put, target the, wait, target only these people in the, to our land, um, Facebook published opt-in pages. And three, retarget them. And it goes back to step one. Two, three, all over again. Holy sure. crap. That's good. We got a plan. We got a plan. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, Bruce, you hear that? We've got a plan. <laughs> now let's implement it. <laughs> yeah, now we need uh, ads. Okay. What kind okay. of ads are we going to do? Okay. Uh, Elena says, good night, everyone. I go finally asleep. <laughs> Elena, you are wonderful. Me too. I'm not far. I mean, it's 11 o'clock for me, and I've been at this all mo all day. All day, yeah, literally. Yeah, day. so have I. <laughs> <laughs> but we have, we've, we've gotten a lot of things down. At least now we know exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, well, Bruce, don't rub it in. 14 hours is just one day. <laughs> at least it's not 36 hours. <laughs> 14 days, we've got a plan. Now we've got to get these masterminds together thinking great so that Rob can start spending money so we get money in. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. I, I do mean, too. It, does, the day, the, it does seem that the day goes. <laughs> he smiled. I smiled. <laughs> Bruce, that's great. <laughs> okay. So we chart on a CPM basis and bill every Monday for exactly what you spent in the previous seven days. Campaigns are prepaid. When you make a new campaign, there is, is an initial charge to fill up the weekly budget to whatever you set. With our CPM billing, so okay, when Rob comes back, I'm going to give him this website to figure out exactly what hey, what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, but we got to have some ads. Do we have any idea what we want to do? But we can't make those ads without uh, the product that we're going to buy tomorrow. That's oh okay. yeah. We can be prepared. Okay. Yeah. We now, job. We got to have that product that. tomorrow, right? Because that's <laughs> going to help us to know what we're going to do. And it's not a whole lot of writing. It's a picture and a little bit of writing is all it is for the ad, right? Right. Yes. Because you really can't put a lot with uh, Facebook. Facebook is kind of easy, actually. And we just come up with yeah. some key words. All right. We got so, a plan. Can I say good night now? <laughs> no, wait a yes. minute. What, uh, Napjot's well, trying to say something, isn't he? Okay. No, no, no. Oh, uh, who was that? Say anything. Okay. Somebody I thought was trying to say something there. Was that Dory or Bruce? Bruce, was it you? Okay. Nope. All right. Not I. So we know exactly what we're going to be doing. Tomorrow. Right. So, what time are we doing it tomorrow? Let's get a meeting set up. Let's let's go with 12 p.m. as well. Okay. Um, in the morning, we will get some uh, all the other things that we have to get done in life, and then. 12 uh, 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern. No, that's P.S. That means three o'clock for me, which is fine. Oh, is okay. Fine. Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, that hey, okay? yeah. Because hey, I was can thinking. You we can get some breakfast, get some uh, exercise, go out for a little bit, and then yeah, come back as tomorrow is going to be. Yes, PST. Excellent. Oh, by the way, can you turn off the recording? How do you do so that? You have, I have no idea. I just know you have control. Can you hit the little red button and it go off? <laughs> or Rob will have to deal with it when he gets back. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Okay. Okay. So, um, oh, who is Dory? Have I met Dory before? Yeah. Who is Dory? Hi, Dory. Well, I accidentally said. Uh, uh, Hi. <laughs> sent Dory a private message. I don't know how I did that. I must have hit the drop uh, drop arrow. But now I'm back in the uh, the all. Awesome. Hi, Dory. <laughs> Dory, do we have your bio? <laughs> I gotta start asking everybody. Do we have your bio? We need everybody's bio, by the way. You're supposed to send it to Rob. Yeah, everybody get those in. Um, I got it in yesterday. 
to Alina. Oh, good. It's good. a gray. Alina or Rob? That's right. Where did are yours, you? Uh, did your um, uh, bio, Eileen? Uh, did you include your prison record? No. <laughs> I, <laughs> actually, let me send you my let me send you uh, uh, my bio right now. Um, it's very weird. Very good, that. Dory. Thank you. We're glad we're because we want to know everybody better. There's some people we've talked to a lot and some people we haven't. We're sorry you were sick though, and I hope you feel better. Yes, yes. Eileen did it good. <laughs> Three hundred yeah. words. She did it. It's was, it was actually a little oh. bit more. Than oh, is that it? So. Oh, good. good. Oh. That's on the brain trust. oh, super. Good. Well, read it. Okay, I'll get that into everybody. Wait, what? No, it's not in the brain trust. It's only individual because I don't want to spam them a, a huge chunk. Wait, hold on, Cindy. I gotta get you on Skype. So. Actually, you don't, let me. You don't have me on Skype. No, apparently not. Um, okay, let me go in there and get all of them. If, if you guys are sending them to me. So that that that's my bio, and it, 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 I don't know. Peter said it's good, but um, what what is BT? Um, Accept. I accepted you, love. There we are. Thank you. Brain trust. Okay. Yes. Can I get your Ali, um, Skype? Uh, can I get your Skype ID? Uh, for me. Bruce. 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 Do I have Bruce too? I don't know if I have Bruce. Bruce is. Um, Bruce. Let's see. I just dropped it in the chat box. Oh, yes. okay. Okay. Uh, oh, Thank okay. You, Bruce. There you are. You're now on mine. All right. All right. Okie dokie. All right, Bruce, go ahead and accept, uh, and accept me, and I'll take you into uh, people. Paste. Did you get an email from me last night, Bruce? No, he didn't. He did not, okay. All right, so, um, well, we can definitely go on for as long as possible, but I'd like for us to get a, a good rest. And oh, he sounds so wise. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get some rest. What is that? <laughs> Bruce, what do you mean no? You said no, no rest. Bruce, come no, on. No, as in no, he didn't get Charlie's email yesterday. Oh no. Okay. Well, I put I sent uh, Bruce uh, a request, so, and I think I have everybody. No, Dory, do I have you new? <coughs> this think. has been fun. It's so oh, cool it's that we're fun. able to communicate in a group all over the world. I mean, you know, this is yeah. a great time to live. It is. Yes. It really is. <laughs> and it's a great time to be doing. Uh, business online as well. It's awesome. You can be really anywhere is. in the world. That's right. As long as the Wi-Fi works. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, everybody, is my mic on? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi, <laughs> Hi. Hi everybody. I've, I've been pretty quiet lately. I've, I've been fairly sick, so please, it, okay. I apologize for my silence, but yeah, right. it's... Um, I do find it all very overwhelming at the moment, right? So in a good way. It's a lot of information in overload, yeah. Oh, look, it is, and, and I join you guys because, you know, I, I mean, I've been looking at internet marketing for a few years, but I'm right. certainly by no means at the sort of level that you guys are, so it's kind of, it's kind of overwhelming, but in a good way. Everything well, that me... we talked about today and the entire group was just, like, formed last week, so we're all learning together. <laughs> it is a big learning experience, I can tell you. It's a good one, though. 
I think cool. you, I agree with that. And I don't think that we have that much more experience than you, because I consider myself a newbie. <laughs> but I have learned what most of what I've learned, I've really learned here in the last, uh, I've, I had a passing knowledge of it, but I've learned most of what I know in the last couple of weeks just working with this group. And it's just fascinating. And you can catch up very easily, and we'll be more than happy to help you with anything that we can. So. I'll look anything. I mean, I, I, obviously, I'm part of the group, and I, I've sort of tried to keep up with that. And but even in my own, you know, I don't really know where to begin with my own sort of marketing. So I, I'm sort of open to any ideas and, and advice and help. Okay, I want yeah. you to begin here. Uh, excellent, excellent. I have this article for you to read, and I think okay. on the bottom, when it comes down to whichever, whatever it is that you're doing, it's all about the way you think, not how much you know. You can you can be as knowledgeable and intelligent as ever, but if you have the wrong approach and attitude, that's completely different. So that report, where do, where do you live, by the way? I'm in Australia. I'm in Hobart, which is a tiny, tiny island, or Tasmania. Okay. It's a tiny island. Oh, okay. Southeast yeah, coast of Australia. Few, we got a few partners. So are you a partner with Mo? Yes. Okay. So we got a few partners in Tass Tassie as well. Um, okay, I got cool. to learn that it's called Tassie. <laughs> <laughs> it's you have, Tassie you to be, yeah, to you Australians have a slang for absolutely everything. <laughs> First time I visited last year, <laughs> um, the uh, I think it was, so. One of the guys in the, in a restaurant told me to take off my sunglasses, and you guys call it sunnies. Yeah. yeah. To to us here in North America, sunnies is a brand of. Um, Orange juice. <laughs> we love to shorten things and we love to give things a little name. That is very, very true of Australians. Right, right. <laughs> so, how long have you been with us? Uh, with Look, I, I started, I've only just recently started, probably before, um, before I got involved with the Brain Trust, only a week with Mo. Oh. So, I am totally, totally new to this. I haven't even, I haven't even begun my own marketing on this, on Mo. Right. And I'm, right. I'm kind of stuck. I, I, I have to be honest. and. I've got information overload at the moment, and I don't really right. know where the best place to start my own campaign. Right. Nothing to do with MOB, obviously MOB and the Brain Trust is separate, but yeah, I, I'm sort of, I know a little bit about Facebook, I know a little bit about uh, YouTube, but I don't really know where to begin, what, what the best step is for my own um, approach, I suppose. Uh, Facebook okay. will probably be my area that I want to start in, but okay. yeah, any, any advice and help would be gratefully received. Yeah, each of us. Well, what, from what I see, um, whether you're you, you're you're doing your own individual campaigns or with mm -hmm. brain trust, it's it's really it's beneficial in both ways because you can learn from you know we we are really transparent in brain trust. If something doesn't work, we tell each other that it doesn't work yep. because yep. we want to help each other. And more importantly, if you know we we all want to make money together. That's a that's a whole point. So absolutely. Um, uh, with as 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 far as where you've where you've um, uh, where you start? Have you gone through the training in the back office? Look, I, I've gone through the back office. I've looked at certain traffic okay. methods as well. Um, right. I suppose I feel more comfortable if I started with things like Facebook only because I have a little bit of knowledge about it. Um, okay. But you know, beyond that, I'm sort of I'm I'm in that that sort of brain freeze mode of, mode at the moment where I just don't know where to where my money would be best spent. That's kind of where I am at the minute. Well, and you know. Dory, I just want to put my two cents in here because I'm about to leave, but I will yep. tell you this much. I have learned so much in this last, uh, since I've been in the ba Brain Trust, and I've been in the business three years. So yep. if you just get on every day with these meetings, it is not a waste of time. It really isn't because somebody comes on and teaches us something that we didn't know before, just like Najat has just spent the last two days doing that, you know, showing us yep. this new tool that we're in. And any time where you see us online, you say, hey, you got a few minutes, can you show me a couple things on Facebook? Any of us be willing to do that. Okay. okay so don't the only struggle I said the only struggle I've had is the only reason I'm here now is because I'm sick because I still work full time. That's my I, I hate it. You know I, I want right. to. It frustrates me that I can't get on all these meetings. Uh, uh, it really drives me mad because I have to work. I want to get away from that full time job so I can get in this and be in this full time. You know, and it's, it just frustrates me. Um, okay. To, to miss we, all these meetings. We typically record these, so we put those. Yep. Uh, 
on the Google Drive. Do you? Uh, I think Rob. Yeah, I've been there, trying so. to keep up with them. I have been trying to keep up with them because me being sick and it really knocked me for six. I've sort of lost a bit of momentum, but I do try and keep up with all that's going on. Yeah, because I know how important it is. Good, good. Excellent, excellent. And I, I would just check with the Mo, Mo uh, Brain Trust on Skype because everybody seems to put uh, a lot of information there. They leave the recordings yep. and documents and things like that on the Mo Brain Trust on Skype. So, um, yep. By yeah, the way, there. are you Dory Harvey or Dory Dirt <laughs> One? Uh, I just have to quickly explain, Dory... Dory is not my real name. Lindsay Harvey is my real name. But oh. The reason I'm called Dory, I used right. to work in mining. I was a truck driver, a big, the big trucks in mining. And right. someone gave me that nickname from the film Finding Nemo, the Dory <laughs> Fish, because I used to forget things. Keep so on swimming, keep on swimming. <laughs> That's the one. And I was given the name Dory because of the memory, and the dirt comes from when I moved dirt in the trucks. So they put the two together and gave me the nickname Dory Dirt. Oh, okay. how funny. And what is your real name again? My real name is Lindsay, but I much, Lindsay. much prefer Dory. Yeah. Everybody really? Does. Okay. Yeah, everybody calls me Dory now, so Dory's kind of stuck. That's okay. cool. Okay. That is cool. Okay. Uh, sure. I sometimes well, forget that it's not my real name. To be honest, I I always refer to myself as Dory, and I sometimes sign things as Dory, and I think, oh crikey, you know, I'm not Dory. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Can be and, amusing. Right, so, which one you do I add? You you already put your bio in. I've, I think I sent my bio to Rob, but I can send it through again. I don't know whether he no, got it or not. No, I think that's I, if he has it. That's all. That's I all. I think he has it. Yeah, I'm, hopefully. I'm going to forward Which, everything. So you're the mining on, truck driving on. mama. That's <laughs> all <one>. right. <laughs> uh, I so used to be a, a truck driver. <laughs> okay. Which one are you on Skype? Do I, do I add both? Or? Uh, add both because the reason I've got both there is because I had issues with my laptop and I still have issues with my right. laptop. So just either one of those you can get hold of me. Probably, the, okay. probably go sure. Dory Harvey. Um, okay. Yeah. Only because I had right. to change my, my login and stuff. So... I will get either one. Okay. So just a quick, um, quick. Uh, well, I, I'm going to hand you down exact what 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 took me so long to to right. do anything in Mob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First of all, anyone who comes along, they get sent to to Matt. They get sent to the training. They get sent to the back office, mm -hmm. and then their coach. But ultimately. What you're trying to really do, in, in terms, because we're all, all we're all in this for the long run. Okay, this is yes. not, yep. right? This is not going to be a one-year, two-year thing. We're looking at 30 years ahead of not being, not like work from anywhere and wake up late. Um, yep. You know, I, because I've been, I've, I've been fortunate in the last, in the past few months to have, <laughs> to wake up at whatever the time. To me, that's a really, really <laughs> big thing because I hate being on time for something. <laughs> and so, okay. <laughs> And so I love it. I love that attitude because I, I would follow that without any problem yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, what really comes down to um, to 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 me learning and making money with Mo mm -hmm. is the fact that I, I I begin to learn from the people who are doing the best, right? Mm -hmm. And so instead of going out and googling and searching this and that and getting information over, though, there's no point in doing any of that at all. Whatever it is that you're searching now, or trying to do something, I would very much suggest you to to not get frustrated. You don't need to be frustrated. Don't make it more complicated. Don't make it more um, frust. Don't make any more <laughs> stressful on yourself. So don't think too with, much. Yeah. Yeah. With <laughs> this, and you know that happens to all of us when, especially when we are new to this entire niche. Mm -hmm. um, and so. What the brain trust really is about, I'm pretty sure Rob have, has already spoken about it, but you know we're we're trying to eliminate that. We're trying to make the most amount of money with the with the least about amount of work. Okay, and when once you go down the path of trying to figure out everything, that that just it reverses itself and it's not going to work out. So I um m many of us or many of Many people are still have a full time job. We we still have obligations, whether it be family, medical, anything like that. Mm -hmm. And so, what I what I would do if if, if I were you is to um, I think every every day or so we're going to have a meeting recorded. I know that you're in Australia and you can't um, 
come to the meetings as often with your job and schedule. So, yep. but the meetings usually go on for maybe an hour or two. And or four, we stop or six. Uh, yeah, well, we stop. We stop. We stop I'm hearing you, Cindy. <laughs> we stop recording uh, after the, the after the important parts. But yes. really, what what it's all about um, is what, what I would do is that every every night I would still you know definitely still do the things that you love to do. Right? Don't mm -hmm. put don't sacrifice and change your lifestyle because of it. Because you joined Moab to change your lifestyle, not the other way around, correct? I did, but I have to say Moab and, and this, this particular venture is my life at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, yeah. And so um, I would as stressed out as I may be, I would <laughs> only spend an hour or so doing this. And I'm not telling I'm I'm actually somebody who works almost every single minute that I'm yeah. awake but mm -hmm. the reason why I'm telling you this is because there's something more important than Mo. Mm -hmm. There's something called well it's it's practically you need to in order for you to have this long term long term goal in process you have to have your self on the internet that includes your own marketing your own branding your, yourself, like you want people to know you, you want people to like you, to trust you, that's when they buy, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't market mope, you market yourself, always. Good. And so, what I would do is, um, in, this, in the spare times after you get home, figure out what it is that you're good at. From what I already know, you're really good in communicating. I suck at communication, that's why I prefer to blog instead of shooting a video because I mess up so many errors. Now figure out figure out your strengths and throughout like write write stuff like as if it's, it's it's a diary. Write your plan write your business plans like as if it's a diary. You can find your experiences from the past and and write it. Because when it, when it comes down to marketing, huge part that has to do with what works is your story. Okay? Max area which is uh, I think yeah, he's number one or number two um, in commissions from the phone team. He explained to me the other day, uh, in the past weekend, he said, really, what it is is you have a story, and then people connect with you for, through that story. People like, trust, buy, relate, or like, trust, relate, and buy from you. Now you have a new story because now you're making $1,000 commissions online. Now you use that story and you keep building and building and building and that's it. So don't focus everything on getting uh, on on trying to do everything for Mo. Trying to do everything for yourself on the other hand is, is, is a little bit different. It's more fun and it's less stressful because you know more about yourself than anyone else on this planet, right? And so um, through that, maybe you want to start practicing. I don't know how comfortable you're with videos. I'm not comfortable with videos. That's why I do podcasts. <laughs> and, okay. um, it, you might want to do some videos, whether it's a, a, a video blog, so a vlogging channel, maybe on YouTube. You can start yeah. doing here things here and there. And really what, like, for me, fear and rejection was a major factor. Um, <laughs> but it's it's it all comes down to one thing, it's you know you practice and that's it, and so the the quicker you get over it, the the sooner you start making a lot of money, and okay. yeah that 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 is like if I were to, uh, when you asked for for pointers that is that, that that is exactly what I would do, and as for the PDF that I just, um, uh, where did I send it to you? Was it over here? You might have did right. you send that to me. <laughs> no, I send it to him in the chat box. Let me go get oh, it. Oh, okay. Because uh, I must admit, <coughs> uh, I have to say that my focus has been on, oh, I've got to go and find people to sign them up to Mope. That, right. That's been, you know, and that isn't working for me because I don't know where to start. I don't, I, I, I've looked at Facebook, I've looked at others, and it's yeah. just not, I don't know, it's just not, you know, I, I'm trying to drive traffic to a link. That doesn't feel right. like it's going to be successful for me. Right. And so... People ultimately they don't buy a product; they buy you. Mm -hmm. um, 
we lo- we buy the emotion, we buy the feeling. Like, look at Coca Cola. Their s- literal slogan is "Live your happiness" or something like that. What the heck does that have anything to do with a drink? It doesn't. But the feeling that it provides is, "Wow, I can be happy if I drink Coca Cola." That kind of thing. Right? We it's it's an emotional world. There are no bad products, only bad marketing. <laughs> and so. I like when I when I first got it I was also very frustrated with how to how to get people to sign up to Mo right away mm-hmm. how to do that but it's really difficult because well first of all people don't know me even if I get my parents to sign sign sign, sign up that's it's only like a few counts of, of things but right now if like say on your on your way to work every single day you take 5 minutes take your phone and record a simple video talk about what you've experienced or what you've learned or you can even talk about what you've learned on like a webinar replay that you watched last night. Anything like that. And when when you're providing value, when you're um uh what's the other word? Um when you're providing solutions to other people's problems, that's really the key. Like for me, how I even got into Mob was because of John Chow and it had nothing to do with making money online. He just he taught me the one most important thing that um, that I've ever learned in my life, which was happiness is about giving and not receiving. And so because of what he said on a video that he did, that has nothing to do with his niche, because of that, I, I automatically think, this is the guy I'm going to follow. And I followed him since. Every, <laughs> every time he, you know, and that's, that, that's how you build those relationships. So we definitely have the tools to help you get set up um, mm-hmm. with uh, links, tracking, autoresponder, all of that. I'm going to make it really, really simple. In fact, over the next few days, I'm doing like a recording series of how to set things up for brain trust. Yes. And yep. that's, and I, like, I am not going to leave out any of the little things because, okay, I really like the training in the back office for MOBE, but people who make those videos are not newbies. They don't know what we've gone through or how mm-hmm. much frustration it, it can be. Okay. Yep. So yep. yeah, that's what I would do. And as for as for how the brain trust um, has kicked up so quickly is because of the amount of dedicated people in it, and mm-hmm. h- how much work we've or, we've we've gone, and so we've done. And I mean, really, we started advertising last Sunday and since that day till right right this moment we have gathered more invo- information that I than I have ever single-handedly gone uh, if in the past like nine months uh-huh. so it's a powerful thing for people so all you have to do is drop in drop in Skype every now and then catch up with some whatever we're speaking about more than half the time just like useless things it's like we're blaming Rob for something that he didn't actually do but you know, it's fun <laughs> So, um, and ask questions. Never forget. I, ask I questions. You, I thought you were gone. I'm going to now. Good night. <laughs> good night. I, <laughs> good night. I, I just you kept talking good stuff. Talk to you later. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Okay. And and the uh, like I the, the PDF that I sent you. It's not a very very long article. It's a, it's it well sums up. Um, exactly what you need to be doing. Yep. And okay. that's like most of the times when you when you when you start off in in like any industry, any game, you start as a newbie. And business-wise, that's not the case. You don't really learn from your experience and then become like an all-star player. You, you, it, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, it takes all kinds of frustrations for you to go from a newbie to an all-star. But this PDF tells you exactly, like it breaks down kind of uh, in reverse role to, um, and tells you what the newbies do and what the pros do. And I've actually, I just got this PDF over this weekend, so I I am getting rid of my habits from that newbie list and going to do exactly what the all-stars do. So this PDF is a quick read um, and it definitely changed the way that I 
that, that I know of now. Um, mm -hmm. And this, <laughs> and you know, tomorrow we're going to get um, up and running with the Facebook ads. And as soon as I have the videos ready, which is going to be very soon, um, you will find I will give all the links to you so you can okay. set it up. Right? Yep. Okay. It'll yep. it'll be kind of like a I'm sitting right next to you at your computer teaching you how to do things. Not I can be your well, guinea pig, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> you can use me. Please do. Well, if if you want to put it that way. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's that that's what I would do. But cool. You know what? <laughs> Just it's 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 easy when you have a team. Yes. I mean, yeah. no. I suppose I, I suppose I feel a bit. I feel overwhelmed because I don't feel like I can contribute like everyone else. Not. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean because you know there's a lot going on and it, it it's kind of lost me to be honest. I've kind of I'm, got lost in everything that's happening. I'm gonna tell you a story. Last Sunday, actually no, last Monday, I met Charlie. All mm -hmm. right, and he said the exact same thing. Yeah. And today he. Was host he was practically leading us and hosting us in in terms of the social media thing, um, brain trust. Yeah. And so, you you want Charlie, you want to talk about what you learned, how you've learned, and are, were there any frustration? How how was your experience over in the past week? Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's not here. Oh. Has he disappeared? <laughs> Hold on. All right. Where is the link? Oh. Was it here? But what I'm trying to say is that <laughs> I, I still remember because it was it was late at night around this time uh, for me and for Charlie at least, and we had a we had a we had a talk like I told I told him about my parents and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, and he just thought, yeah, well I I I, I want to do something, but I don't know how to do any of that, <laughs> and really you learn by doing. It's like most people start well, at least when I did it, when I was a newbie, it was all about studying it, and then learning it, and then doing it. But really, you have to do this stuff simultaneously. And you know, with the amount of people we have, that's 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 really game changing for me. Like I can actually be doing all of this on my own now. But the difference is, I won't have gathered enough information on what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. And that's that. That's one of the reasons why Rob mentions that we will be taking a huge percentage of the commissions Matt's going to be giving out next year. Yep, we sure are. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Okay, Charlie's gone, but if he comes back ever, <laughs> he he will tell you his experience. But you know, I I'm 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 impressed because. People are people are oh, actually I'm shocked because people are always saying I don't know how to contribute I don't know how to do this I don't know how to do that, but you do know it's just that it has to be explained to you in a different language. <laughs> yeah. So. And look, I appreciate you giving me the time today. You know, just to yeah. have a quick chat because I, I say I miss I miss a lot of those meetings and it's frustrating. You know, I can't take part in them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> most of the meetings. I mean. To me, a meeting is kind of like a conference where everybody sits down and updates each other on what goes on and what we need to do. These yeah. kind of meetings are really they are work sessions, like they're like workshops, because we share each other's screens and we figure out exactly you know we work together and that's what I really like because everybody learns together and when you've got people working at the same time, there's lots of ideas or lots of creative um, things that you want to but that you can contribute to and most importantly when it comes down to all that technical stuff as well as the um, headline writing or ad writing just just think about this think about the reason why you join Moog 
because you know yourself more than anyone else. All you have to do is reach out to people who are like you. Yep. That's simple. Yep. Um, and I mean, <laughs> I should have done this. It, it, it's it's a little bit more difficult for me to say this um, now because I've already done that. But I, the reason why I haven't done ha, haven't had good results using that is because I'm 21. Most of the people around my age only care about uh, school or partying. Yep. <laughs> right? And and so I figured, all right, I can't do this anymore. You know, people don't people my age don't care about this kind of stuff. <laughs> That's when I started going to you know going to events very frequent to figure people out. All right, Bruce, I'll see you. Uh, to a, maybe tomorrow. Um, yes. Okay, and Charlie is not coming here. So Dory, do you do you have to run as well, or no? Are you? I'm okay. cool. I'm I'm okay. here. I'll be here tomorrow as well because, as I say, because I'm not working at the moment. I've got a couple okay. of days here where I can actually join the meeting. So right. Okay. Sure. So, what can I help you with? <laughs> Everything. Um, look, I'm not. It's not that I'm completely new. Um, it's right. just that I suppose I have little snippets of information about certain things, and I'm trying to put them all together to get you know, to make it fit, but it just, as I say, it's just so overwhelming for me, I don't know where to begin, I suppose, like, do I do I put a blog together, do I put a, a fan page together, do I, you know, you talked about promoting yourself rather than promoting Moog, right. um, you know, what's the best way to go about that, is it setting up different social media platforms about myself, you know, it's just, where do I start? Okay, so... I'm actually I'm actually going to click into the PDF and go go through it with you quickly, and then you can read on. Mm -hmm. I've got that up uh, as well, so I can read that as well. Okay. So, okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about um, a, a few things. Let's go to the second page where it says level one newbie marketer. Yep. Okay. So. Newbie marketers eventually is think about stuff like logo, mm -hmm. stuff like getting a blog together, get like making it look good, you know, make it mm -hmm. all the appearance, because all you want to be is, all you want to do is do something professional, as you would think. But really, people don't, like, people, only you care about that. Unless it's like a, you know, some critic in graphic design comes across your website and sees, oh my god, this website sucks, which is, 99% of the websites out there, but when you, if you want to put a blog together, it's it's really simple. You can go to WordPress mm -hmm. or go to HostGator. To do you do you know web servers and all that? Yeah, I can set up websites. I can put them together. That's okay. not a drama. Yeah, that, sure. that that sort of stuff is is known. Um, yeah, yeah. Sure. So I know the fundamentals. So, so just go with it. Um, okay. to, to put all put all of that together, it's probably going to take you at most three hours, and mm -hmm. especially if you've got other fundamentals, it's going to be a lot less time. And you know, start writing your start writing your own blog, your first blog post. My mistake was, and still is, that I keep focusing on setting things up. That mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's no content, but really, people are on your website for your content, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, that actually, do you do you mind? I know this is still recording because I don't have no idea how to turn it off. But um, <laughs> can you? Do you have the time to read the PDF now? Uh, yeah, I can read it through. Yeah. All right. Read that through, and we'll we'll talk. And I'll, I'm still going to be on the line. Okay, I'll go through it, and I'll let you know when I'm when I'm done.
Was that Charlie that joined us?
Are you there, Elaine? Yes, yes, I am. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, I have to admit, I do have that newbie mentality. Um, right. You know, it, it's very hard for me to sort of not. I suppose I think in that way. I think, okay. And like I said, I, I, I try and go, okay, where? How do I get people to my link? You know, without sort of even thinking about that person, um, which I know isn't good. Um, I have to get away from that mindset, I suppose, and start. And I, know, I do think like a newbie in, in the sense that, you know, real real marketers tend to think, okay, there's lots of opportunities out there. There's too many to even, you know, you'll never run out of opportunities. And I just sometimes struggle to see those opportunities. Does right. that kind of make sense? Yes. You know, and, I, so, and I've done that. I'm not a creative person as well. That frustrates me. That frustrates the hell out of me. I'm not one of these creative people who can come up with all these different ideas and, you know, and I always think I'm missing out because I can't do that. Okay. Um, well, um, let me give you an insight on that. There mm -hmm. is a... The human brain is, you may very well know, made up of the creative side as well as the logical mm -hmm. side, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing that ever took us from being not civilized to civilized to the Renaissance area mm -hmm. and technology is our imagination. It's it's all about wow, what if what if I can listen to music and walk at the same time? That's how the Walkman got created. Mm -hmm. That was how it's since then the iPad, MP three players, all of that. Right? Mm -hmm. It all begins with imagine your imagination and I mean lots of people would, would say that well that's you know, what that that's where only that's on, that's the only part where our logical side kicks in mm -hmm. all we're all we're trying to do is to not kill ourselves with our creativity <laughs> with the logical side so it is almost absolutely impossible for anyone to be not creative and here's why every single person on this planet is creative differently and yep. to define creativity actually the dictionary and any thesaurus defines creativity as like as if you're trying to create art or create something out of nothing that's not the case if you have like if you walk in a in a mall or go shopping and you think about oh hey there's a there's a <coughs> there's a sale it's to buy two get one free or buy two get one get this buy one and get one fifty percent off maybe if I can get my friend to buy with me I will I won't have to spend as much money that is a form of creativity you just thought of that from nothing that is what creative creativity means it's not so-called to define something or to make something from from scratch almost automatically it all has to has to do with your thoughts throughout the day I mean a person can be creative in, in so many areas and in so many times throughout the day. It's almost impossible to not be creative. So, and I mean, I I always when when I did get when when I first got started, just this was like late March. I thought I wasn't creative, and I mm. still don't. I'm not really <laughs> sure, but I do know that I have crazy ideas then one of those ideas came about with this brain trust that Rob put together because Rob was just like hey what if what if we can gather a group of people and buy buy advertisements so that we can all advertise on a better network at the um, on a better website yeah we can all target to really expensive leads but that's where it really the money is what if what if we can do that and it happened mm -hmm. right since then so to think that you are not creative, it, that that is almost impossible. Like, you, it, it, it creativity, it, it comes in so many forms. Sometimes you need creativity to get out of a scenario. And, oh, I don't know if, are you married? No, I'm not. No, I'm single. Okay. And, are, are, are you dating somebody? No, no, I'm not at the moment. I'm totally single. Probably... I, I would say I'm very much in love with my internet marketing. <laughs> okay. Um, that so, does consume me. That is my 100%. Like when I'm not working, I'm on okay. the computer. Okay. So, but I haven't had much success. I have to admit. 
you, you will be having a lot of success <laughs> with Mo. It's almost yes. impossible. I mean, the I think one thing that really frustrates Matt is the fact that he's giving everything that he's got all the time, but people are just yep. not implementing it. Yep. And yep. so, and I, and I will have to talk about that, <laughs> um, but, you know, there, there are some, through, like, throughout, throughout your life, you, have you ever had an argument with anybody? <laughs> yes, many times. Okay. And have, were you ever in a point when you thought, how do I stop this argument from going on? It, whether it's a consecutive arguments or just one argument. Have you ever had yeah, a thought I, about... I guess, okay. yeah, yeah. And what you did to get out of that argument was, was creative. Because you, you had to think on the spot, what... What the hell, what the hell am I supposed to say back to that person to get them from un to to help them understand me, mm. or what what am I supposed to say to to that person so that they will stop bothering me about it? That's all I, something you thought on the spot. I mean, I I, 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 was say, I, I hate. I guess it's my definition though. I, I have to when you talk about cre um, being creative, I, I guess my definition of being creative is coming up with something completely brand new, and you're saying that's not yeah. the case. I can see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's, that's one of the things um, that, that the, the, way I, the way I just explained creativity to you, mm. that wasn't, that, uh, that's one of the things in our society that limits us from doing things that we want to do. Mm -hmm. It's, we all have this, set in stone as to what a word is defined, what a law is defined. But really, yeah. when you come to think about it, people, Shakespeare created so many words that don't even have a meaning until today. And we yeah. set that in stone. There's no, and you know, whether it's science, whether it's engineering, whether it's art, there's always going to be new definition of things because we will mm -hmm. always be discovering. So. Never eliminating yourself, that, that's the key. And why I, ch why, why I chose to talk about creativity this way is because as an entrepreneur, there, you, you have to make sure that there are no roads, uh, there are um, always going to be roads mm -hmm. for you to walk on. Whether it's a roadblock or what, you, you will be creating a new path for yourself. And yeah. I think one of the reasons why so many people fall off that path is because they just follow the signs. They don't go away, you know, they don't actually look for it themselves. But so, I'm guilty of that myself. I'm guilty. I have to follow someone else because, like I said, I feel I can't create it myself. That, that's, right. Yeah, I, I've been very guilty of that. Right. Okay. And l let's talk a little bit more strategic. So. When you're saying creativity, do you mean how to create an ad? How to, what, do, what do you put on it? That kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I can do, you know, as Facebook as an, as an example, I've, I've followed certain people with Facebook training. I've, I've, I've looked, you know, I can create ads in the sense of I know the technicalities of creating an ad, but I don't know the fundamentals of what good copy is going to bring me to my ultimate goal. You know, I, I, I'm not a copywriter. Um, I only can guess at those things um, and sort of try and draw from other people. But the technical side of setting up an ad, I have no issue with. Same with Facebook pages and all of that. I've got Facebook pages of my own that I run, and so that's that's not an issue for me. But it's doing it effectively <laughs> okay. when it comes to ad copy, when it comes to targeting, um, all of that side. I, I have to admit that I, you know, it's something that I have to learn, um, okay. and I'm not good at. All right, so let's let's take it back a step. When you go, when you, what sources have you tried to learn from? Was it Look, books? I, was it? No, I've 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 you know I I mean Don Wilson does a lot of Facebook Facebook marketing. Um, right. I, I'm sure you know that name. Um, yes, I, I've learned a lot from him. I've learned a lot from Ben Atkins as well. They're they're very much mainstream. Um, Facebook marketing, but they do have good qualities within their trainings, and, and they do teach you know what I would consider reasonably good marketing skills. Um, maybe I'm following too mainstream. Maybe there's other people I should be following in terms of um, you know that kind of marketing. But okay. I just I struggle to not. I don't ever struggle to do the work. You know, like I've got two Facebook pages that I run now, which are niche pages, but I have I've got them up. You know, they're both up to ten thousand fans. 
I can't monetize them alike because I don't know how to. That, that's my okay. problem. You know, I can do the grunt work, but the actual uh, creativeness of getting these people to actually part with their money, that's something I have no skill in whatsoever. And that, that can reflect back in MOBE as well. You know, that, that's exactly the same. It'll be the same scenario because I approach it in a newbie way. You know, I go, okay, here's, a, here's an affiliate link. How do I get people to that affiliate link and then get them onto the email list and start emailing them automatically to get them to buy? There's, okay. there's no personal interaction there, even though I know in my heart that it has to be from me because I'm expecting these people to, to part with quite considerable amounts of money at the end of the day. And that's a trust thing, isn't it? That's got to be, I can't expect to make money from Mobe by being, um, I suppose, just involved with clicks and links, you know, it has to be more than that. And that's where I struggle, I suppose. It all goes back to what you said initially about creating myself, you know, putting myself out there, I suppose. And there's an element of being scared about doing that. I'm not scared in the sense that I've got nothing to hide. It's not like I can't. But I suppose you sort of, you have to put yourself out there um, to gain that trust from people. And from that will come, you know, the, the, the ability to build a good business. And that's where I lack. That's definitely where I lack. Okay. Well, Does that make sense? I'll go back to uh, the first thing you mentioned, okay? Mm -hmm. Those to for advertisement placements. The absolute easiest way to reach your goals at anything mm -hmm. is to go directly to the people who are already doing it and learning from yep. them. Yep. There is no better way. For me, that, that was a game changer because I, I never thought about it ever before until mm -hmm. Matt mentioned it. And I thought, all right, this is all I have to do. Just go up to yep. them, ask them, figure out what they're doing, and do do that. And that became, like, I've saved so much time and money just by doing <laughs> that, right? Yep. And so when you are either, when you are like, typing in the headlines for a Facebook ad, always mm -hmm. think about what's what are the people, what, what are the big gurus doing now? Mm -hmm. the, because because that has to work, or else they're not going to be doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So you all you have to do is use that copy and do a replica. Yep. Okay. So yep. if they say go to Empower Network and make six figures or something like that, change change the change the name, right? Yep. And mm -hmm. secondly, a huge like I actually I always thought all ads make money. I always <laughs> thought that all kinds of things that was out there in the world it was so big and so far from where I am and everything made money yeah. except for me but <laughs> then I figured out that was really really wrong because mark like when it comes down to marketing and advertisements the one single thing you want to do is to make money it's not to build brand awareness it's not to do a, not to do any you know, you don't you don't start doing brand awareness until you're Apple or Coca Cola when you have yeah. to maintain your thing there, or else Samsung and Pepsi will will be all that people are going to be talking about. So, yeah. advertisement. Now let's think advertisement. There is, it, and it's directly linked to, to your product. Why why do people buy a product? They buy it because it solves the problem yep. that keeps them awake at night. They buy a product because it makes them their lives easier. But they buy a product because they've got they've gotten a product from the same brand before and they loved it. And so it's all like all everything that I'm listing right now, it's all benefits. How does it benefit you? Not 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 the features. Right? You look at go and take some time maybe later after we get off the call, but go to Apple's website. Look at look at their entire website. They talk about things like like a third grade would understand. Yeah, this is faster. This is newer. This is this is better. They they don't talk about like all the tech stuff until you go through you know you go through the product and click on the tech spec or yeah. you know the specifications. And so everything that you're tr all you're trying to do is when people come to your ad and look at your ad. It's gotta, it's gotta benefit them, okay. And so, the one thing that, okay, I'll use Move as an example. So my top tier business make one thousand, or what's it called? Get one thousand, three thousand, and five thousand commissions. Yeah. 
That's which is what I've used. I, I, I've already, I mean, I've gone to some degree. I've created squeeze pages. Uh, right. So I've done squeeze pages, and I even tried to create, um, rather than go the mainstream of what everybody else is doing, I thought, okay, let's pick out a group of people that I want to aim towards, which is probably the wrong way of doing it. And I kind of went, okay, okay. mothers, okay, because mothers at home, they've got kids. So I kind of went, okay, how about I direct it at them and say, look, you know, uh, are you look, hey mums, are you looking for a, a way of generating more money to support your family or more money to help your kids or that kind of approach? Yeah, and you say so you're not creative. <laughs> Thinking outside know, but the I box is the first create, like if you, if ever creativity comes from or something you've, you know, you've seen and then you're just thinking outside the box with it. So these kind of stuff is, you know, you're actually gaining knowledge and growing without even realizing it. But the, the ads, when I say get 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, that's a mm. that's a bonus because okay pe everyone wants to make money okay no matter yeah, no matter yeah. what people talk about happening money doesn't buy happiness which is true but it <laughs> never hurts okay no. you can always no. be in a better position if you have a long distance relationship you can move to Absolutely. the where the person's laying all that kinds of stuff it it yeah. it is a it is a side aspect of happiness so yeah. and then the second aspect is without ever picking up the phone and whoever whoever wrote this was was brilliant because they know that oh yeah when it comes to direct sales especially high ticket items people are, must always be you know worrying about or have bad experiences in companies that have that they've had to pick up the phone so without picking up the phone that's an absolute benefit to yes. people that we're targeting and so not not one word in that line said my online business empire. Not one word said, you know, anything about the features. It's always about the benefits. And as for if you want to place um, place ads on, on on Facebook, that's a whole new different topic that we actually have been recording um, recently. And yep. and you will because you're going to be either watching the replay or getting on the end of our meeting tomorrow so you'll know exactly what we're going to do. Tomorrow is the date, November the, what date is it Not right now? It's, it's yeah, the November 7th. November the 7th, okay. So the 7th is going to be the date or the 8th for you is going to be the date that we yeah. push out all these, all these Facebooks. So um, if you if you don't, if you can't make it, just remember, remember to watch the replay. But no, really, I'll be, what t what time is it on tomorrow? Um, your time, and I can find out. It, like I said, this this being sick for me has been great because I've been able to get on the finally get on a meeting. So I will be there tomorrow, definitely. Okay, well that's that's a really really good attitude you have. <laughs> that's the bonus of me being sick, Elaine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, for if you're doing. Um, uh, tomorrow, I think we're doing 12 PSTs, and I, if I remember correctly, it'll be practically 12 for you at midnight. But I'm uh, pretty sure it's going to end up like, you know, like today, like tonight, because at, that's really when when all the um all the advertisements are going to be done and ready, and you'll be awake around this time tomorrow, I assume. Oh, I'll be here tomorrow. If it's about this time, yeah, I'll be here. Not a problem. Yeah. So, so don't don't worry too much about like the la the one last thing, and I really really don't like it, um, because I actually uh you know I'm a hypocrite on this, but I always I sacrifice my health and my <laughs> you know to get things done, and that has it has really pushed me to my ends. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> I was uh, we I were relying in Cabo. Yeah, I mean, when you don't have health, you don't have anything. No matter how much money you you have, it's not <laughs> going to work out. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, um, and so, um, with that, with that in mind, with the with the benefits factor, I mean, I love the, the the fact that you're thinking outside the box. But just push, let's push a little further. Rather than saying stay at home, let's let's talk about. Okay, first of all, if they are a mom, they must have kids, and mm -hmm. Parents will give anything to. Well, that, that most was my moms, approach. 
that was my approach yeah. to be honest it was exactly. about it's looking after your kids and supporting your family that was the whole I'll send you a link actually um, keep keep talking though I'll send you a link through I did okay. a specific squeeze page that was designed for um, a mother I suppose but keep talking and I'll yeah I'll send you that link through yes. okay so I what what I would do is go straight for the kids go to, mm -hmm. like talk about how much how much more like uh, you know a better life that they can live if their kids were let's say for example they can send their kids to private school to get better education or they can move in a better neighborhood to go to a better school or anything like that so I love the fact that you're thinking outside the box I mean that, <laughs> that's really all it comes down to because when it comes down to this business there is no better traffic than going after mm -hmm. the traffic outside of the box because nobody else is doing it. Very, but that's very what I, people are doing it. I always think yeah. though, that's that's kind of my approach. I think, okay, if I go with the mainstream, everybody's doing it. I'm not exactly. going to be that successful. So I try to remove myself, but I guess I guess where I remove myself and try and think of something outside the square, I then lack a little bit of, um, you know, like I say, I can set up the squeeze page, but probably the technicalities of some of it kind of lose me where I direct people and all the rest of it. But also just ad copy, you know, being very honed in on exactly how I target that specific set of individuals, so, you know. What I would do and what we are doing and we've talked about this today is the fact that definitely think think outside the box is great because we're gonna be making a lot of money that people can't make. But more importantly, why don't we work with something that works already? Yeah. So absolutely along <laughs> with I mean this is this is what I would do um, if I were you. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're going to be when we, when we set up campaigns. It's definitely going to be the so-called home business, uh, online business, mainstream. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. reason we're doing that is because we've already got we've already gathered enough resource of other people and what how they're doing, and you know how they've gotten it to work in the mainstream. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that so that we can learn from it and make mm -hmm. some money on the side. And then we're going to be pushing outside the box, targeting to people that nobody ever thought about targeting to. Mm -hmm. And yeah. because by then, you'd have knowledge, you'd have a, a bunch of split testing results, you'd have, you know exactly what you're getting into, so you're not advertising blindly. And then, you know, that's where the real money is made, right? Yeah. Right? So, yeah, to, so I wouldn't, um, you know, I would say you have absolutely the amount the right amount of, of uh, information overload <laughs> because you're on track yeah. Yeah. Um, and so when it comes down to it I think one thing that you could be keep you could keep working on is is w the way you think about yourself mm. oh, right? definitely I, I have to change my whole thought processes you know there's no right. there's no question that the way that we think fundamentally does affect how we move forward in things and how we do things you know and, and that's something I'm learning as well and that's a big yeah. lesson for me a big lesson I've got the employee mentality and I hate yeah. that I, I want to remove myself from that employee mentality I want to get away from that and be an entrepreneur you know be successful in my own business and that takes yeah. a lot of work above and beyond yeah. any of the stuff that we're doing you know the whole um, I don't want to be working for an hourly rate. You know, I go out and slog my guts out every day when I go to work, and it's a very physical job I do. I, I literally walk for six hours a day. I'm a meter reader in Tasmania. It's a very, I literally am like an athlete. I know that sounds extreme, but that's have really to go good up. for your health. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it, and to yeah. be honest, Elaine, I actually don't, I don't hate the job. I'll be honest with you, but it's, I, I literally keep live, keep fit for a living. But the reality is, you know, I'm 43. Right. And I've dreamed of becoming my own uh, boss for the last five years now uh, without much success, you know, and I've learned from, from scratch and I've spent thousands of dollars like everybody else on info products and all the rest of it, so I'm guilty of all of that. You know, I've gone through the same that most people go through. But one thing I have, I must admit, is I'm very stubborn. And I've, you know, no matter what I've, how many failures I've had, those failures have led me to the next success or the next step, I suppose. So without those failures, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here talking to you now. So none of those yeah. were failures for me. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I do need to get away from that mentality. You know, the the whole employee work for the hourly rate, um, and I think that mental shift will be a, a big thing for me. I haven't made it yet, 
um, okay. and I'm trying my best to read. Yeah. I will. I'll make that move. But I suppose I also get lost in the technical side of stuff, and I don't understand a lot of the technical stuff. And that kind of stops me as well. And I go, oh, oh God. nobody understands it. Trust me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's I, why I know we're remote that... because we can leave Classic. it all to those guys. Yeah, okay. it does. It bogs me down a lot. It does. But um, you know, I've I've set up squeeze pages. I know enough about that. And and whether I've directed people the right way, or sometimes I worry about the whole link side of it. Am I using the right links? And do I, you know, have I set it all up correctly? Because what I looked at doing, to be honest with you, I looked at starting out with solo ads. That was kind okay. of what I was going to begin with. Um, yeah. And I was going to use the example of Mo, but then I thought, you know, if I'm doing the mainstream, surely that's saturated, and everybody's doing the same solo ad. Um, that's why I kind of thought about the whole mother side of it and, and approaching that kind of group. Um, but I'm not doing it successfully. I've got an ad running in Facebook at the moment, which is, it, I have, I've had no sign-ups. <laughs> okay. You know, but that's learning. Um, I don't think it's, I don't think it's something that can't be done. I think. Aiming at specific groups of people is a good thing. You know, like you said, there's so many other opportunities out there. Let's not go with the mainstream that everybody's going for. You know, the make money online, which is what I looked at initially. It, okay. It's just I want to move away from that. You know, I want to be looking at other groups, but it's effectively marketing to those groups. That's what I don't know how to do. Okay. So, mm. in the next um, tomorrow, um, mm -hmm. when you wake up. I will be giving yep. you resources to do okay. Facebook as effectively. Okay. Yeah. Actually, okay. I will give it to you as uh, cl close to the end of our conversation because you have a whole yep. day ahead of you, and I'm about but it, it's <laughs> it's late for me. But not not that I'm going to bed, but it's, it was just I kind of forgot about it. Um, yep. So, really, when it comes down to not even just entrepreneurship, in mm -hmm. the entire marketing world, it's mm -hmm. you're all you're doing is trying to find the right right uh, tr trying to find the people with the right problems mm -hmm. yep and putting your part using your product as a solution the, right it's, you're trying it, to find that starving crowd aren't you really right and so yeah. marketing comes down to one thing the words what I said to you earlier in this conversation I got to know so much about you because I asked one thing I asked how can I help you yeah yeah that was that's the only thing whether it's yeah. Especially with online marketing, now we have resources with video and blogging. Really, people are looking for people to help them. Yep. Okay. Yep. And so that's that. That's all it comes down to. I mean, with the employee mindset and the educational system, it, it's always okay. What am I supposed to do next? Yep. And so, that's that. Uh, for me, the quickest way to get rid of that mindset was mm -hmm. just be embraced by people. And just be surrounded by people, associate with people all the time that are already yep. working with the entrepreneurship mindset. Is you know, I I rarely spend my time with anybody uh, um, outside of Mob mm -hmm. now because they don't get it. Right? There's always yep. negativity yep. going on. They don't get it. They don't support me, and they don't really understand what it is. And I'm not happy with that. So I, I, think I, I, I think I've lacked that, though. I understand that because I don't have those people around me. None of my friends okay. or anyone that I, I know are interested yeah. in internet marketing. And that's a really hard thing where you don't have someone to kind of, you know, if I had other people to bounce it off, it'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, try this. and try. They understand that language because we have our own language. And I don't have that, I suppose. It's kind of, and I think with the Mobe group, it's not that I don't feel that from them. That they're a fantastic group. I think I just feel overwhelmed and... Right lacking in, in, in able to sort of contribute. And I don't mean that, you know, I know I shouldn't think that way, uh, but I suppose it just overwhelmed me a little bit. Um, yeah, and this is the first sort of conversation I've had, long conversation I've had, where you've kind of um, chatted with me. And it, it's amazing. Thank, you know, I thank you for taking the time as well. That's, oh, no worries. That's time out of you. And you are, for a 21-year-old, <laughs> you are pretty, I'm twice your age, and I don't have your wisdom, I don't think. You, you come across as someone who is obviously open. You know, you, you, I feel like you're learning at the moment. I you? you've opened yourself up, um, and you're. You know, I was not the like Mob did one thing for me, not only for making money online. Mm -hmm. It did the one thing that I never thought anybody could do. It's not just because of Matt. It's the entire community. Mm -hmm. It begun with myself. Like I'll rem uh, let me tell you, I joined Mob late um, mid March. 
right? Mm -hmm. And towards the end of March, I decided to, I decided, all right, Matt's putting out an event in San Diego, California. I live a a hundred dollar ticket flight ticket yeah. away from it. There's yeah. hotel costs and everything, yeah. but I have to get there. I knew that. Yeah. And I, it it wasn't some sort of destiny kind of choice, but it was more of a, all right, this thing that I'm doing right now, which is being in school, is not working out for me. I've <laughs> gone through anxiety. Yeah. I've gone through almost depression. Mm -hmm. Because of it, because of how stressful my program and how competitive the people were in my school, yep. I got to get out of it. So the one thing that I knew I had to do was do something different. And yep. I started with online marketing because I thought, all right, this may not be for me, but hey, at least I will, I will, I will know that it's not for me after I've tried it. So I went out to San Diego, and I, you know, I had no, I had no. I had a ton of assumptions, and I had no idea what to expect. Because for me, it'll be like, wow, this is the first time. Because I don't even study business at school. I have no idea what business people are like. <laughs> and they're yeah. not business people. They are just people who enjoy life. But, you know, I didn't know that. So I walked. I, I still remember we had this uh, we had this event at the Hilton Bayfront in San Diego. And... Even though I was in the building the entire time, I um, it took me 20 minutes to go to you know check in at the reception and then go to the bathroom, go to the hotel. It was it was so frustrating for me because I kept I was so nervous. I didn't know it was all, all I thought was about myself. All I thought was, yeah. okay, what would the people think of me? What would people do? <laughs> you know, well, I what relate. am I? How am I? Yeah, how am I supposed to mm -hmm. talk to them? All that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. And then in the end, it was all right. This is what I was. That this is what I signed up for. I knew that I had to do something in order to change the way I live. Yep. And here I am. I'm so close to it. Okay, let's just find out. And you know, my thought was, if I do something stupid here today, at least nobody will know because everybody <laughs> at home in Canada is not there. So <laughs> I went, and it was. It was a whole different group of people than what I thought. Like I yeah. didn't expect, and for me, like my um, the the person that I joined under and in, in Moab was was Don Chow. For me to yeah. see him there, I was so scared to talk to him. <laughs> I don't even know how to, you know, approach him. Know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and, yeah. I'll be the same. And, and that was that was because I was so like I was right at the doorway, and he was sitting at the at the end. He was sitting like at one of the tables at, at the end of the room. So, yep. you know, I didn't know that. And then I thought, you know, step by step, it was the same thing. I had to tell myself, all right, you're here. you got to get over this. You, mm -hmm. It's not – you're here for a reason, and that is you don't want to do – you know, it, it was literally every single step I took towards John, it was like that. And yep. when I walked to near him, I didn't even talk to him, but <laughs> I talked to – um two people behind him yeah. and then they opened me up because they saw that I was young. I didn't really know. I didn't have a lot of words. I didn't really know what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And then fortunately one of the guys was real was actually good friends with John. He just said, Hey John, this is Eileen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's she's here. And John was just like, Oh hey you know, completely <laughs> different from what I thought he would say. Yeah. Well, completely like and then we just have a great chat. I mean, we didn't talk about business. We talked about our lives. He yeah. talked to me about how it was for him when he grew up. He talked about all these kind of stuff. And then I realized, <laughs> this is this is the this is the value of building relationships with people, mm -hmm. and this is what it comes out come, comes down to. And then since that day, I have never stopped building relationships with people. I always I was the kind of person who was not outgoing. And I, mm -hmm. I believed in the fact that I can get through life without having a best friend or being in a part of group, being in a group, right? That that was me. Yep. Till this like day, that. like, yeah, and mm. now I can't live without not talking to people <laughs> because it's so, like, it became so such a fun thing. And more importantly, when, because now I see, uh, after going through so many events, after building long relationships, really, uh, Thick relationships with these people, mm -hmm. I I I see them as my family, 
and yeah. they are some sort of weird family because they teach me how to make like my family will only teach me what not to do but they tell me but these guys in mope they tell me what to do yeah. in order to get better results for free because you know they they see me as family as well and so there are so many like my life has literally changed because of Mo. I mean, I I've, I've never given this testimonial to Matt cuz I'm still waiting for the day that like yeah. I don't know that he becomes antisocial. I mean, you know, Matt even even after all the stuff that he has now and what he's gone through, he is he has he has also changed this year. Um he was very very shy even shyer than I was. I thought that okay, this guy's impossible to talk to. And through and every time that we go out after an event, maybe we go out for drinks, we go out for dinner. It's all great, but Matt doesn't come out. I I have invited him, you know, I have invited him all every single time. He never he never came out until yeah. until Cabo, which was September. Yeah. I made literally made him stay at and you know it was. It was the last day of the event. It was way past everybody's bedtime, no, regardless of your age. But it was so late, and mm -hmm. he stayed out, and he had a drink with us. And obviously, later, he left because, you know, the anti-social zone. But <laughs> he's growing. Yeah, and now, look, I, I relate to it because I'm not a person that's a social butterfly. I can communicate yeah. with people, don't get me wrong, but I tend yeah. to be quite shy, and I, I can you know, sort of be in the background then and just sit back and, and sort of watch it all go on, kind of bewildered a little bit. Um, and yet, if you met me, you'd probably think the opposite because I can talk. <laughs> I've, I've yeah. never had an issue being able to communicate and talk, but I think I just find it, I keep using the word over and over again, I just find everybody overwhelming because I feel like they're so far away from where I am that you mm -hmm. just feel like you're this tiny little speck that has nothing to give. That, that's kind of the, which you shouldn't think, I know that, but you kind of get, like you, you're surrounded by these people that you consider to be, you know, big names, um, right. and how on earth can you communicate with them on a level that's, you know, but they're normal people. At the end of the day, they are just like you and I, and, and, and that's where the ground should be, you know, you should work just from that ground basis and go, okay, it's a human being. Um, if there's one thing that I learned, whether it's politicians, movie stars, singers, or anything like that. The the biggest one is always the one that most people can relate to. I I and I, I begin like, you know, they are never the best at anything. I mean people can talk about them being the best or some but their rivals being the best, but they're never the best at the at, at the at the at the position they're in. They are yeah. but they are always the one who can relate to people the most. Yeah. So yeah. For me, like now, I am still doing in incredibly. I don't know, even know how I get to know these people. But once in you're in a mob community, it just b becomes automatic. Like there are so many people I've met who have um, who have had tons of success online and or offline. But you know. At my age, I have no wisdom on what the you know the names are, or whichever. So I screw up every now and then. <laughs> like like they, we sit down at it lunch, and I would have lunch with them. I have no idea what they do, and you know they, their focus they know, and the marketers they know, to, to build relationship. It's all about the other people. It's all about everyone else except for you. It's always like that, and so if everybody, talks about everyone else, um, except for, themselves. Mm -hmm. That's how you get to know people, and so you know I screw up many times. There's the lunch, dinner times when I have no idea what the person does. I have no idea what, what you know, what what they do. Not even I'm not not the slightest clue. But yeah. sooner or later, I get to find out that they have a dog or a cat. Their daughter's names, their 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 husbands or wives, and still to this day, I, there are so many people that I don't know what to, what what they do. They have great success. Yep. And I don't, <laughs> I don't hear what nobody do, but you know, I don't need to focus on that. Yeah. And so uh, it's really, it's really weird um, how Mo has changed, changed my life because it's the way I see it. And when you talked about, I, I guess 
do you ever feel like it's some sort of uncomfortableness where even if you communicate well, even you 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 talk a lot, but people just don't get you? Uh, look, like I said, I, I'm not in an environment with, right. with my own personal environment and friends. They don't right. get it. And to right. be honest with you, having done this for four years and not really had a great deal of success, very, very little, and I've spent thousands of dollars on training and everything, um, it's kind of seen as a joke. You know, it's right. People think you're wasting your time. You're wasting yeah. your time doing what you're doing. And I get that feeling quite a lot. And I haven't given up yet, Elaine. Even though I haven't had much success, I still am determined that this will be my this will be my profession and it will be my business and it will be successful. Because I have really I don't have anything else that I want to be successful in and that will yeah. bring me the freedom. I'm not I'm not a person who's materialistic. Like you said earlier about the money side of things, people say money doesn't make you happy. It doesn't. But you have to have money to be able to do the things that you want to do. Yeah. That's that's just the you know, that's just plain and simple really. And uh, you know you're in this because of the time the freedom that you're going to get to spend. Absolutely. That yeah, I want, I want to be able to live the life I want to live. It's not about buying the best car or the best house. or it, no, None of that is important to me. It's about having the freedom to live exactly the way I want to live and to do what I want to do. And if I can go and see my, you know, all my family are back in England, so I don't right. get a chance to see them very often. You know, if okay. I can open up, if I'm able to do that more often, Right. That's what I thought. Were you born there? Because I'm I'm from England originally. I'm I'm, okay. I'm, Br I'm British, and I emigrated to Australia about 14 years ago. I lived in Perth, which is Western Australia. I lived there for nine years, and then I came to Tasmania only about four years ago because a friend of mine came from Tasmania, wanted to start a business, a, a physical business. So I went, yep, let's give it a go. It didn't work out, unfortunately. But that's what brought me to Tasmania. Yeah, um, okay. I've been very lucky. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to live, and I yeah. love Australia. I heard all about that from um, from one of our platinum members, Jill Boding. Yeah, <laughs> she and her boyfriend. They, when we were in Kabul, that's all they talked about: how great <laughs> it was. And I was just thinking, okay, when I go back to Toronto, it's going to start snowing. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I asked was because. At first, I actually really thought you were from um, from your accent. From your accent, I I I was sure I was certain that you're from the UK. And yeah, no, I am. Then I when am. you said you're from Tasmania, then I thought, okay, I need to work on my accent. <laughs> no, um, no, 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 you like were right. <laughs> no, so, you, were, you were bang on. You were you were okay. dead on. I mean, I sound terrible at the moment because of my cold and the flu, but I am originally from England. Yes, yes, okay. you spotted it well. And the reason why I do that is because. Um, the only time I've ever been to the UK was last last summer, mm -hmm. and I've only I've been there for less than one week. But yeah, I started to to kick in those accents for every <laughs> every word or so, and you know for for like uh, for about three or four months I couldn't get rid of it. And but yeah. now uh, every every now and then I get to talk to somebody from the UK. The, the accent k kicks back in again for a little bit, <laughs> and I try to I try, I don't know why it happens. It only it only works. For the um, for the British accent, I I can't do it for any other accent. <laughs> but Classic. um, yeah, and so and so that um that, that oh, that's look, the, the, the thing in England accent. is in England. I mean, Australia doesn't really have it. We do have accents in Australia, but they're not really defined like they are in England. You know, you can right. you can if you're a true Australian, you can tell someone from Queensland and someone from yeah. they do have slight. But in England, you can walk 15 minutes down the road and there'll be a completely different accent. You know, it's yeah. that broad, and I, I'm, mine is a northern accent. So um, I come yeah. from one of the northern sort of areas, not true north, but I call it north. Yeah. And there's okay. so many different accents. You know, there are so many different variants on the pommy accent, if you like. Yeah. But the funny thing is, for me, I ring home, I ring back in to England, and my family think I speak like an Australian, and the Australians here think ah, you're a bloody pom. You know, they, I, I'm pom through and through to Australians. And yet, because I say mate, or because I say certain words, my pommy family think I'm a blooming Australian. They think I'm a true blue Aussie. It's classic. It makes wow. me laugh every time I ring home. Yeah. Don't say that to Australians, though. The Australians would be offended, I think. But no, it's a great place. It is a great place to live, Australia. And I am fully national. You know, I've got my passport, and I consider myself a true blue Aussie. Cool.
that's very very nice and <laughs> that's you know, when you mentioned the fact that you can d walk down the streets in England and feel yeah. like there's so many accents going on you know what my my one th my one of the things i did when i was in the uk was i sat i think it was um uh, on oxford street mm -hmm. in london and yep. I was just listening to all kinds of people, and, the, and definitely it was all kinds of accents. And oh, I was I just figured I was. All I did was ask myself, how do these people know what <laughs> each other are talking about? <laughs> because it sounds oh, completely different. Trust me, if you get you know you can go abroad any direction really. You can go Newcastle, you can go Liverpool, you can go Manchester, you can right. go London. You, all of those people speak. If you if you're talking about a true, you know, even even Scotland. I know it's separate. It, it's still part of the country, yeah. but it's a separate entity. I wouldn't yeah. understand a true Scot. You know, someone who is a true Scot would just go off on their accent, and you just couldn't understand what they're saying. You know, it's it's just it's very broad. Where you don't have that in Australia so much. Like I think, like I said, you can tell slightly there are differences, but not nothing like in England. England has such a broad spectrum of of array of people that are from all different walks of life and have that really strong accent of wherever they're from. That yeah, it's quite. It, it can be quite daunting to people who, who don't, you know, they don't have that broad spectrum of, of accents and you can't understand them. Even even I now, in Australia, believe it or not, a friend of mine will often say to me, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> like I'm speaking English, you know. I speak English <laughs> and I speak good English, but they, right. whether it's because I talk too fast or I don't know. But I mean, it makes me laugh. It does make me laugh. But yeah, it's... Um, I feel very, when I go back, the, the two times I've been back to England, so I've been here 15 years and I've only gone back twice because my family are there, I go back and I remember going back last time and sitting on the train and it was so alien to me, you know, I, I sat there listening to broad Lincolnshire accents and right. it, just, it just didn't feel right, you know, it, to me it just felt, I did, I felt like I was an alien person in that country, so that right. kind of told me that obviously my because I love being, I've never looked back being in Australia, um, yeah. it was never a, you know, where I went and tried it, and I'd been here and travelled and I'd seen it for a year and I'd done it and I knew that coming back to live here, excuse me, the cat's meowing in the background, <laughs> you can probably hear it. Um, you have cats, yeah, that's awesome. I'm, I, it's not actually my cat, I'm looking after a, cat, a friend's cat who's gone away because he's okay. a diabetic, so he needs Then you insulin. must really like cats. Look, he's a great cat, he is a great cat, um, yeah. but he's, he's an insulin diabetic, so he has to have injections. Okay. So oh, I'm kind of looking okay. after for her um, while she's away. But he, I've put him in the other room because he's making a lot of noise and he won't shut up. <laughs> I can hear him <laughs> meowing. So. Um, yeah. But no, look, I love Australia. I, I'm very blessed to live in this country. Um, yeah. The only frustration I have is the time difference with you guys, obviously, because a lot of this happens in, in the States and it's your oh, time. Trust that's, me. That, yeah, that's what frustrates yeah. me because I, because I work. I just can't make those meetings, you know, it, it's a bit, right. so this is the first time I've kind of connected with someone on more than a couple of minutes basis and, and kind of, yeah, had a, had a conversation, um, well, so that's what's blown me away. Matt is, um, uh, what, from what I've read, um, mm -hmm. you, you, whether it's, it's, as long as it's a, it's a country of the Commonwealth, you can only stay in America for a total of six months per year. So my, I think Matt's schedule is almost up. So he's definitely, he says we've got the numbers in Australia, so there's going to be lots of events going on there yep. very, very soon. I was going to say, so, does he do events here? Because he seems to be going, one of the draws that got me into Mo, to be honest with you, was it was Matt's an Australian. Australian. Yeah. yeah. It was like every other product you get is American. And I don't mean that offensively yeah. to America, yeah. but it was like, hang on a minute, here's a guy that I could possibly approach on my own landmass, you know, it was like he's yeah. in my time zone almost, it yeah. Was, yeah. that's what drew me. Yeah, definitely, I mean, I've asked a, a bunch of people and they say, and they're all Australians, but, mm. you know, they Which makes me kind of, it makes me kind of want to go for the Australian market though, do you, do you understand where I mean? I, I, I would probably, pre yeah. yeah, I probably prefer to aim at Australians because I feel that is a good, you know, people are going to be the same as me, they're going to go, wow, it's an Australian. That that, yeah. that was one of the things that struck me when I first saw and heard his presentation, and right. I kind of feel that everybody goes for the American market because it's the biggest yeah. market, yeah. but there must be ways of approaching the Australian market and getting, you know, get away from the Amer American market, focusing on that Australian market. That'd be and something that I would be interested of, in doing. Yeah, not a lot of people are doing this. Uh, who, no, uh, who's an Australian? So no. like, I've, I only know two people. 
um, who's really doing it, like outside of Mo, I really know two people, yeah. and one of them is Matt Lloyd, <laughs> which frankly <laughs> doesn't <laughs> speak much about. But um, yeah, yeah, it does. It it does have a have a have a huge impact. Um, yeah, and I'd definitely be more interested in doing that, in in homing in and focusing on the Australian market without any yeah without any doubt. Yeah. So I mean. Um, from 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 the way Matt functions, what I think he's he's going to be doing is multiple events in Australia next year, and with that being said, he will ha he he is better. He's a better speaker now. He's a better salesperson. He's a better walking business now. So you know, kicking those commissions with 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 that, and I'll I'll definitely I, um I don't plan on missing out on events, so I probably will follow him wherever he goes. Yep. But um. Yeah. Uh, well, back to. Uh, sorry, I, I want to quickly talk to you about about the entire um, UK and Australia yeah. thing. You know, yeah. I've visit I've visited a lot of English speaking countries with a massive uh, immigration mm -hmm. po uh, for the, uh, for the total of the population, and yeah. what I usually. Um, it's like it's like now if you go to go to New York, if you go to Los Angeles, if you go to um, London. Yes, um, <laughs> there's, there's lots of people, but mm -hmm. uh, you know this this accent kind of fuses. Does it becomes like this this this, this accent that everybody speaks is <laughs> in the same way? And you know it doesn't really matter where you're from because pe the people around you will all be speaking the same accent. And you you obviously you naturally adapt to it, but mm -hmm. in 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 the UK it's a little bit different. It's like as if everybody speaks their own they speak in the same way it, you know they, they, and i i'm always shocked because there's so like england is in a very big country in terms of maps, <laughs> no, it's but, not. no it's yeah not. but i i am so shocked at how well it's preserved for you know each accent in every region <laughs> and, yep. and so so I was always astonished by that. But okay, back to the mar uh, the marketing to the to the Australians. That yes. is awesome. Um, I love the way you think. Um, this is not only for just the fact that you thought outside the box, but when you do so, where Brain Trust will have a bunch of data with offline and online marketing for you for for all of us to to use and target to the Australian market. Um, you are definitely in a benefit because you know how Aussies function, the slangs and all of that. I gotta I gotta get you to coach me on those. Because I have no idea. Like most of the times I would sit down at an event and there's an Australian and they they say some word that I don't know. Like and it's not like I don't know but they're slangs. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, a lot of them sound very offensive. So I was always <laughs> kind of offended by the the way the word sounds and hey you know, why did you say that? What does it yeah. mean? That kind of thing. <laughs> so, um, there's plenty yeah, of them. I can tell you now, plenty of them. The slang yeah. words that we use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for <laughs> you know things like rooting oh. for you. We're rooting for you, mate. Well, rooting can be taken in <laughs> in several different forms. You know, and we've got words for thong. <laughs> thong. You know, thongs are thongs for us. Are shoes for you yeah, guys? Shoes. They're, or pants, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, we've got lots and, of different slang words, lots. Yeah. And we put things on so the end of words. You know, we mate is is you know a renowned word used everywhere in Australia. You've got to have you know, how you going, mate? Because it's just it's just the general term for everybody. But right. we have lots of slang that we add names. Like like I said before, you we always make up names. We're a big uh, population of making names. You know, Benno. Normally you add an O on the end. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me why, but they just they put these little things on the end of words to make them a, a you know a, a, um, a fun name if you like. They're very big on names, and there yeah. is lots of slang. I'll have to I'll have to and, look up some slang for you and get you some terms. <laughs> and I don't know why. What's up with the hype? Or actually, this this the centuries of hype and in uh, word shortening. But <laughs> in 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 Mexico, I lost my phone, and this Aussie went. That's sus. <laughs> what the heck is sus? sus yeah, sus means What's sus suspect. Um, you know, it's yeah, got yeah. You. <laughs> and I'm just like, we oh, do. I'm sure. Can I get the full word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so, we do tend to short. We're, we're lazy, you see. We're a lazy race. We go, ah, if we can shorten it, we'll shorten it. Make it easier yeah. for us to say. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, well, what's amazing, though, when you actually have to write, like, say, a, a paper, or put it professionally and official, yeah. you go back to the long word. And I don't, like, you know, for days you'd be talking about sus, and then all, the sus, all of a sudden you've got to write the actual word. How, <laughs> how do people even do that? <laughs> so, well, um, you're, um, you definitely... Don't don't think like I always, you know, the, the the easiest way for me to to learn is is really by not thinking that I'm learning. Like without that pressure, without that think the the thought of I must get this done. Yeah. That that actually moves me forward a lot. But this is not the case when you're setting goals. Like yeah. in in Mob and from what we're doing now as, uh, with Brain Trust. It's yeah. a huge, like for me, positive thinking, all of that is a requirement, an absolute yeah. requirement for you to be in yeah. any business. But yeah. the deal is lots of people will think about it and don't do it. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. why um, we're starting to map out things. Like, like say, for example, today we had like a three-hour long discussion on Facebook ads. And we, didn't, it, we, got a, we got a lot of great discussions and ideas and thoughts in this room, but yeah. the one thing that wasn't working well was that, you know, we have problems coming out of everywhere. So we, <laughs> yeah. like, say somebody would ask a question and then we'd approach it directly, and then along the way, when while we're searching for it online, we'd come across something else, and that just, you know, it's not, it's not the things to get things done. And in yeah. the end, especially for people who have never done Facebook ads, they get so confused. So in the what I've done today was, all right, okay, well, let me share my screen. Let's keep mm -hmm. it simple. Let's well, mm -hmm. let's put a headline right now in a Word document. I'm going to title it "How to Make a Facebook Ad." I just take it step down, step by step down to okay. First of all, you have to have a headline and the image. Second of all, you have to have an opt-in page, and third of all, you have to link it to the autoresponder. And yep. lastly, is you know is when you start like figuring out spending the money and talking to the team that kind of stuff. So, with that. Like I call it, I I would say it's kind of a tactic. I would mm -hmm. I I do want this this you know step by step thing to to be more strategic, but yeah. it you know it clears a lot of things for people, and that's how I like to do things now. It's really just get down to business on and focus on what needs to be done, yeah. and yeah. you know along along the way we're all gonna grow, we're all gonna learn, we're all gonna be making money, so yeah. let's why not start with, with step one, yeah. so. Um, yeah, I mean, don't ever underestimate yourself because okay. from from what from the from the conversation we've had so far, mm -hmm. there is uh, I think I think you are you are going to be one of those natural marketers. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because, well, the what what most people can what what most people will, will be able to do automatically is. All right. If you tell them, you gotta solve people's problems, and they go for it. Yep. All right. And yep. their headlines and everything, everything benefits. All, I talk about all of that. But mm -hmm. and that just keeps going on and on and on. But people yep. don't think outside the box. Mm -hmm. People don't even think about thinking outside the box. So yep. to think outside the box, that is a great um, asset to have. And yes, I love the way you th you link things. I. Um, and it, it'll definitely like right now maybe talking about s or thinking about it too much would <laughs> put you off track. That's why I say you know yeah. along with the strategic back, uh, the strategic plan, make sure you get those things done. But mm -hmm. in long term, thinking outside the box will win every time. Yeah, yeah. So I say I've kind of put that together already, but I haven't had a lot of success with it. So I figured when I sort of ran the ads to my. Um, to the squeeze page that I had, maybe I've got too many steps, you know, I've got them to, they've got to put their email address in and then when they put their email address in, they've got to then go to confirm it and then they've got to, you know, and it's kind of, maybe that process isn't right and that's why I'm not striking it, you know, good on those okay. particular ads. So okay. I know the fundamentals of setting up a squeeze page, I mean, they might not be good squeeze pages, I don't know. Um, so any okay. kind of feedback, you know, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to show you what I'm doing and go, All look, right. this is so, what I've put together. Um, one of the ones I sent you, actually, the link, the kids come first. That link yeah. is actually a squeeze page that I put together for the, for the mums um, specific, you know, to aim specifically okay. at mothers. Uh, but then I was trying to target them through Facebook. 
and I basically scraped IDs from Facebook pages that were a massive Facebook page that involved mums. Do you do that with um, a social lead freak or something? No, way cool tool. Okay. So right, I use so the way cool tool to actually scrape IDs from different pages that I've got okay. from Facebook, and yeah, I really a huge contribution. Tomorrow, just actually just leave the name, and then I'll, I'll talk to them about it tomorrow. Then after you get on, you can teach us how to do it. But with that being said, um, the uh, what you mentioned about the opt-in is mm -hmm. well, here's how most people look at it. Okay, and I, I've seen this over t time and time and time. Every time yep. I go to buy a solo ad, especially spe specifically solo ad, the one the one question I care about the most is, mm -hmm. "Hey man, is your list single opt-in or double opt-in?" Yeah. And every time they are going, uh, actually, yeah, a hundred percent of the time. And I've I've mm -hmm. gotten, I've gotten about 52, 50, yep. 50 something solo ads so far. Yep. And every time they say single opt-in, and I get dis disappointed. And the reason oh. is. They say they, okay. This is what they. This is what they. This is what people think. Okay. Mm -hmm. People think the um, the size of their list is what matters. That's not yeah, the case. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the quality yeah. of your list that matters. It's where you yes. get your lead from that matters. And yeah. so, so many people are using single. Actually, Matt has to do single opt-ins, or because there's just no way for 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 his entire funnel to be a double opt-in. But yeah. John Chow, he always used double opt-in. And one time, <laughs> this this was a Facebook message that he left um, uh, on one of the posts in in the Mo. Are you in the Mo groups, by the way, on Facebook? Um, I mean, I think so. Yeah, I, I've kind of lost track only because my computer went down. And I've kind of had to mess around with okay. Skype a lot. But I think I've got right. the groups up there. Um, okay. If if you don't just just you know when you when you find out, let me know and then I'll add All you right. to them. But yeah. the the thing is, John Chow talked about. I always use double opt-ins because of the quality, mm -hmm. because I don't yes. want you know, people to see spam or something like that. And yeah. yes, it is true. Your conversion is going to be a lot lower. Less, but yeah. the people that you're going to be sending emails to yeah. every single day, yeah. will you you have a better chance at building a relationship with them, and that yeah. translates to, you know, them liking, trusting, and buying everything that you recommend. And so, yeah. Yeah. lots of people are saying, "Oh, yeah, well, I got, I got, I got a bunch of, um, you know, I got a bunch of leads today, but you know, they're like, they're all from cheap clicks, they're all from yeah. traffic that doesn't matter, and all that kind of stuff." So, yeah. really, when it comes down to double opt-in, I would say, definitely keep it. But if mm -hmm. you do want to try, then do like a separate page that that looks exactly the same and try single opt-in then you'll have your answer. Well I've, so, put, I've put together several pages to be honest. I, right. I went out and put together several pages. One of that's them That's awesome. The access one, the first one that I sent the link to, um, your link, mm -hmm. I think that's a single opt-in because it was through GetResponse. Right. And then another one, the parent one, was obviously a double opt-in. And I think I may have, I've got two. I've got AWeber and GetResponse. I didn't and even see the link. Can you send on, it? Did see. you send it through? Yeah, let me see if I can. I think I put it in the. Should be there. Yeah, on the chat. I put one was for moprofits.com.slash/access. Right. I can do it again if you want. Hang on. Let me just see. So it's moprofits.com/slash/access. That was. Yeah, that was the first squeeze page I put together, and that's a single opt-in, and that's through get response. And that takes them once once they put their email address in, it takes them directly to his presentation, the sales video that he goes through. Um, and the other one that I sent you there would be mob uh, mobprofits.com again. And then after that, it's got um, kids dash com dash first dash two, the number. Kids. So kids dash com profits.com kids dash, dash you know line dot uh, com yeah. dash first dash number two not the word two now that was okay. the one that was specific for parents because it's a picture of a baby on there um, okay. the positioning's probably not quite right with the picture but I sort of thought well you know I'm, I'm going for parents I'm gonna you know sort of they, you see a picture of a child it's going to immediately associate them with that particular squeeze page because it's you right. know 
can you see them or are they um, yes. not coming up? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're just my first attempt. Look, I'm, I'm sure you know with the kids one or the parents one, I, I do a, a similar one. You know, I get a picture of a kid, um, a child. Um, have it to the side, that picture probably isn't that good, but have it to the side and then just have the basic squeeze page in the middle um, with a similar, I mean again, the copy that I've written on there, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably not that good, you know, I kind of went for the, yeah. like you said, I went, okay, what's the, pa the benefits of it for a parent, is yeah. supporting their child or supporting their family and, okay. you know, I kind of did just a basic copy on that, um, whereas the, the access one, the first one that I put together, the single opt-in, was purely just for you know people who are interested in working on online and getting a you know make money online thing. Okay. Um, so and I've one aside from um, being very targeted to, uh, mm -hmm. I should have actually spoken about this earlier, but a lot of people um, keep, keep keep it too complicated. And what what I'm saying is, it's not that your page is too complicated, but mm -hmm. The amount of people information people can take in, especially when mm -hmm. they're reading something online, is yeah. very very little, Limited, and it's yeah. got to be yeah. And it, when I say little, it's not so much of uh, words; it's how simple it, uh, the words are or your phrasing. So I have yeah. one one tool for you. Um, it's in the it's in the box, the chat chat box. I can't press enter. <laughs> don't see anything in there at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't know why I can't press enter. But, oh. Um, okay. Uh, do, do, are you on Skype right now? Uh, I can, I'm on the Dory Harvey one. Not the... Okay. I know um, I should probably take I off and not use people. I have uh, sent you a request. Hang on. Nothing's come through yet. What's your um, uh, Skype? I'll put it in here. And um, is it Elaine? C. Uh, yes, it's my Skype ID is C Y L E I L E E N. E I L E E N. Hang on. What was it again? Sorry, Elaine. Do it again. C Y L. C Y L. E I L. Yep. E E N. Yes, got you. Got you. Toronto. Right. Canada. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. That should have come through now. Right. Well, let's give it a sec. All right. Okay. So this website, um, yep. What it does it? is, yes, it's readability score. It's this is this is actually um, something that advertisers have been using for the past okay. 80 years. Not not this p particular website, but the, the algorithms behind it. It's, it's a really, really simple. Um, well, not too simple after you calculate it, but it includes the syllables, the amount of words in the sentence or phrase, and it calculates a score from 1 to 100 on how, how easy it is to read. So 90 to 100 will be um, a, th a third grader can read it that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. the higher it is to where the 100 is, is, is the best. So that is one thing um, I, I've been using to do yep. the, okay. uh, to, you know, to figure out how easy my stuff is to read because it, it is it is very true. The easier, the simpler you, you keep it, the more they will understand. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so. I'm just I'm not getting anything at the moment. I've got your link and but I've put that in and for some reason it's not going through. My internet seems to be at the moment. <laughs> I don't know why. But I will certainly look at that. I've got that link. Um yeah, okay. for some reason so I can't a, get anything. Yeah. There are um there are several levels and statistics mm -hmm. count on the right hand side, but really the one you're going to be looking at is called the re readability uh, as, it's called a flesh kinsight reading AC. You'll you'll see what I mean. It's the first one that comes up directly. So, I your think I've heard of this before actually. I think I have heard yes. of this site before. Yeah. In my many so depth. yours is really really good. Yours is actually like when oh. I when I looked at your ad, I thought okay, this is this is really good. But I would what I would focus on, but what I would change is. Um, Why is that the word? Why 
my internet's not doing what it should. I, I would probably change, earn a great income from home. Because, uh, and for, for several reasons. Earn in human in the human world means that you have to work hard to get a reward. Mm -hmm. It's usually like that. And from time to time it has been proven that people, you, you will have lower conversions with stuff you have that's related to having to put time in, having to put money in. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that the person, um, uh, the, the person who's going to opt in will not put any time or effort that that's really up to them but you know later on you can you can build this educational marketing uh, emails and along with your relationship with them so that they will understand more at the same time they will also be getting emails from that so um, earn a great income from home and I, if you if you it, it would be best if that's very specific as in a very uh, prolific or gen generic headline, like a, an exact amount of money. Mm -hmm. okay. th that kind of thing will definitely drive your conversions up. Um, and spend money, spend more time with your kids. I love that. And you know, so many people are people are doing this so so that they can do that. Mm. And um, when when it comes that like, just like you, I also I also like I've really really weird and wild imaginations I think <laughs> all over the world and one of the things like like I'll, I'll, I'll tell you I'll give you an example mm -hmm. when I first joined Mo the, the one thing that I thought about was oh my god there are people who are 70 and 80 years old doing this what are they doing this for then they they all say the same thing they want to leave something for their kids or the grandkids and yeah. so then I went to I went to Matt hey man uh, can you make it so that these people can um, pass their accounts down to their kids and grandkids so they will be they will continue to receive the big ticket commission and pass ups as well as a five percent every single month and he said sure and well that hasn't kicked into place because Matt is also um, somebody who works at you know if if he doesn't need to change something he won't do it yet but yep. you know if when he does you and I, we can figure something out to talk, to do very good marketing with it. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, there's no there's no reason for it to not be uh, offered, but it is very, yeah, it is it is what it is. It is it will because like, a lot of people, um, well, no, not a lot of people, but anyone who has kids are always going to be thinking about the kids. Yeah, um, yeah, especially if they have a strong relationship with the kids. So well, it's a powerful time, emotion. It's a powerful emotion, yeah. which is what I was trying to. I suppose that's what I was trying to connect to, with right. aiming aiming at that group of people. You know, they're they're very, you know, a mother is is focused completely right. on you know providing safety and security and everything for their child. So right. what better way than going? Okay, here's an here's an opportunity that you can earn better better money that will look after your family and you can do it from home. So not only do you get to spend more time with